Jesse Ron Wilson, how are you? I hope that you're feeling better. I've been praying for you. I've been praying for you and Kathy. How's everybody doing? Hello, hello, hello. Benny, hello, Lynette. Give a thumbs up on the way in. Give a thumbs up on the way in. Debbie Parker, hello. Cat Lover, hi. Paula Jackson, hello. Uh, Paula says, hello, Ron. We're glad you're back. Absolutely we are. We missed you last live. Maddie, hello. How's everybody doing today? Listen, I am so doing much better. Thank you. Okay, that's great. That's great to hear. Vinny, how are you? Uh, I'm excited. I'm so excited because I'm making uh, one of my favorite meals today. Fried potatoes and with onions and uh, pork chops. Brenda, how are you? Nicole, hey. How's everybody doing today? Paula Jackson says, hello, Gina. Sonia, how are you? Ann Jackson, hello. R.W., Lynn, hello, Gina, I'm happy. Let's see, happy for you to be able to, okay, great, thank you. Sonia says, welcome, everyone. Thank you, Sonia. Bridget Scott, hello, Valerie. Pet Peebles or Pebbles, hi from Vegas, hello, welcome. Marietta, hello, I'm doing good. Cloud Life says, what up, Gina? <laughs> How's everybody doing? You know, today is my soup, let me see. Ron is saying, you know, today is my super favorite ever. Okay, this is great. And guess what, Ron, I just have to tell you. So I read your message the other day. And, and Ron had said that he wants to have like uh, cinnamon apples with his pork chops. I went out and got some cinnamon apples. I said, the heck with that. I said, I can't have these pork chops and potatoes without cinnamon apples. So I'm going to be having cinnamon apples with mine. That sounds so good. Rosalind, hello. Patricia, hello. Cynthia, how you doing? Tina. Lakita, how's everyone today? Oh, it's chilly. Nearly asked about the temperature. If you're asking about the temperature where I'm at, it's, it's chilly. I actually, I have chills <laughs> on my arms. Ashes, hello. Yes, Ron, I'm so serious. Oh, thank you, Keila. I think that's how you say your name. Welcome. Jacoby Reeves, hello. Miriam James, how are you? Everybody, welcome. Dogman is back. How are you, Yvonne Newton? Hello. Juice Miller, hello. Sandra Elizabeth and Sweet Liz is here. Uh, Valerie's here. It's 85 in Vegas. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. V. Sanford says, hello. All right, let's see what we got here. Brenda Hill says, hello, Gina, looking beautiful. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Gina. This grandma just loves you all the way from Georgia. Well, welcome, Dorothy. Listen, I love you too. Absolutely, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, welcome to everybody, Joanne Jackson. Welcome. You say, oh, oh, you say cooking your favorite, the cinnamon apples. The cinnamon apple, it, it's just something about having like cinnamon apples, like that sweet with the savory pork chop, and then you eat it together, and it's just like a match made in heaven. It is. When he said that, I thought, I'm, I'm having it too. I'm having that. <laughs> Hope everyone is well, says Nicole. Brenda Hill gives a thumbs up. Listen, everybody, you all need to make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. There's 281 of you in here, and only 76 of you have given a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up if you're in here. Bring the thumbs up up. Make it match with the people that are in here. I can see who's in here, and nobody has given a thumbs up. <laughs> Rosa, how are you? Listen, welcome if you are brand new. Welcome to Gene Cloud Life, hello. 
Welcome to Gina Young's Live. <clears throat> and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome to Gina Young's Live. We're going to have a ton of fun today, okay? Raven says, hey, how you doing? Gwen, hello. Cindy, hello. Latika says, I'm on my way. <laughs> She's always on her way. I got my door. I got my, I got, uh, I'm going to leave the door open for you, Latika. <laughs> Come on, people, give a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, is that plugged up? Okay. Thank you, Ron. Allie Jones is here. Eva's here. Dolores is here. Kay Clark, hello. Listen, if I miss anybody's name, uh, update that. Update that. Make it because it's not matching. Um, I forgot. What. Oh, oh. If I miss somebody's name, um, just try to message me back, you know, because I'm just one person trying to read all these messages, okay? Um, you know, because sometimes it's so hard to be able to uh, talk, cook, and do different things and answer questions, and then at the same time, see everybody's message, okay? So if I miss your message or if I miss your name during this live, just message me back in, in, in hopes that I'll see your message, okay? Rosa, hello. Belly says, I'm giving a thumbs up. Ashes is here. Hello, Wanda McMorris. Donna Marie, how are you? Let's see, you said my dough has raised for my pizza and that's what I'm making today. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Pizza sounds good. You know, I feel like when I have pizza, we like to have it on the weekend. Fix the title. What? Okay, fix the title? Okay, let me look at the title. I'm looking at it right now. It says, Gina Young, live cooking session, fried potatoes, and fried potatoes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's fix that right now. <laughs> Thank you. I did that. <laughs> fried potatoes and, um, oh, hold on. Fr we want to put fried pork chops. Put fried pork chops. Hold on, let me think about this. <laughs> Lord. Okay, put um, fried pork chops, fried potatoes and onions, okay? I don't know how I did that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you, you know, right before we came on, I was trying to, trying to get it all together. Glad you're doing well. Thank you, Charlene. We had grits and macro patties. Oh, yeah. I made some the other day, and they were so good. Okay, so listen, listen, listen. Let me fix the lighting a little bit. So I'm going to give some people a little time to come in to the chat, okay? And after we give them some time to come in, wash their hands, use the bathroom, whatever they may have to do, then we're going to get started. We're going to get started cooking Gina Young style. Listen, I, oh, somebody says I didn't notice it. <laughs> oh, you didn't notice it either. That's great. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> I didn't notice it, and I was writing it. <laughs> um, uh, uh, oh, okay, listen. Here's what you can do while we're waiting on people to come in. If you want to, you don't have to, but I suggest you do. Now, when we do these lives, if we're doing something like making potatoes, or we're making something that requires you to uh, cut something, go ahead and do it now or do it prior to the live. And then that way, uh, nobody has to be uh, behind. You know, like, hold on, I'm still cutting my potatoes. You know, so what I did when I put up the community post, I told you all, I noticed but knew you was cooking pork chops. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you can tell me. It's okay. Just tell me, girl, what's going on with the title? <laughs> it's not spelled right. It's okay. Um, that happens a lot. You know, but we're only human. But what I was going to say, um, cut your potatoes if you haven't done so. Mines are already cut. And I just cut them into dices about this big, okay? Up them thumbs, says Raymond. Thank you. G. Rich, hello, how are you? Thank you for coming in and joining us. Everybody say hello and welcome to G. Rich. 
Oh, oh, Tammy is saying she's 53 years young, younger today. That's awesome. Happy birthday, Tammy. Absolutely. I hope you have a blessed day today with God on your side. Okay, so Donna says, I'm cutting my onions and my potatoes right now. Okay, this is awesome. Maria is saying hello to G. Rich. Everybody, okay, great. Lynette is saying hello to G. Okay, this is great. Ingrid, how are you? G. Rich says, thank you, sis. Just stopping by to say hello. Hey, I appreciate you coming in. Keep on doing a good job on your channel over there. You know, keep pressing and doing what you're doing. You're doing a good job over there. And your wife is doing an amazing job as well. Absolutely. Okay. Dolores, how are you? Wanda McMorris. Yes. Maria says, hello, Gina. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'd say we're going to give it about a good five, seven minutes, and then we're going to get started cooking. So that'll give you all some time to go ahead, if you want to, like I said, chop up some potatoes, chop up your onions because you know we're going to need to do it when i come around that counter you know like i said i already have mine's done oh i know what i was going to say if i didn't already say it in my community post when i put the um ingredients down for you all the other day i stated that i'm gonna have my potatoes already cut and then i gave you guys like a clue to go ahead and cut yours too you know so i said if you want to cut yours go ahead and cut yours because i'm gonna have mine's cut and like i said when we do these lives it'll help um people not to be behind although i don't mind waiting on anybody i'll always wait on you guys but we can help the process on a little bit by doing something so simple as cutting your stuff ahead of time okay because i know sometimes i'll be talking and i'll just be chopping and y'all like wait hold on <laughs> like hold on and wait on me gina you moving fast and i totally understand that so what i'm going to try to do when i do these community posts i'm going to always thank you g rich for the thumbs up i'm going to always uh say since we gotta cut bell peppers and onions cut them before we come on the live okay and, and that'll help us Hello, John. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Anybody new coming in? Welcome. Thank you, Renee P. Thank you so much for the super chat. Lakita, how are you? Donna M. How are you today? Mick, let's see, what's your name? Mick, Mick Sherry. Hello. Joanne Connor. Hello. I tend to slice a little thicker than chips. Oh, okay, okay, Bill. All right. How many of you, listen, give me red hearts. Give me red hearts up in the comment section if you are cooking live with Gina Young today. I just want to get like an idea of who's going to be cooking with me today. New here, Essie. Well, e e Essie, welcome. Everybody welcome Essie to um, the live. If you're new, give me red uh, or or if you are cooking with me today, give me red hearts to give me an idea who's cooking. So we got Valencia, we got K Coffee, we got Donna and Maddie and Carol. Okay, this is great. This is great. And listen, if at any time you all have a question, you stop me. I don't care what you. Uh, you said Libra is the key today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, y'all yell at me and say, Gina, hey, I got a question for you. Oh, Ron Wilson is cooking. Barbara and Chocolate Charm is cooking. Okay, this is exciting. This is exciting. Let's give the people about two more minutes and we're going to uh, make our way into the kitchen and get started. All right. Thank you all for welcoming Essie. And thank you all for welcoming G Rich. All right, let's see. So Benny is saying, I wish I could. Let me see your message. I wish I could, but I'm bed bound right now. Oh, we're praying for you. Okay, praying for you. I hope you're, you know, you get the feeling better. There's Risa. Hey, Risa. Everybody, welcome Risa Richardson to the channel. Y'all go over and check her out as well. That's G Rich's wife. 
She has some good stuff going on on her channel. She's got two channels. She has Risa Richardson channel, and then she has Basically Blessed, okay? So on the Basically Blessed channel, she's selling all type of stuff, y'all. So you definitely want to check her out. Okay, Alina says, I'm cooking with you. Okay, this is awesome. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead, get my apron on. Let's get our hands washed. Get all your ingredients out. It's time to get started. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, you're welcome, G. Absolutely. Please forgive me if I don't, if I don't see all the messages, guys, okay? I, I wish I had somebody reading the comments for me, you know? <laughs> all right, let's do this. Risa, y'all, let's see. Y'all, Gina is absolute beautiful person. Thank y'all for supporting our sweet Gina. Thank you so much, Risa. I definitely appreciate it. Hey, listen, I appreciate the work that you do on your channel. I'm always visiting in on you and your husband's channel. I don't always comment, you know, but I'm always watching, you know? <laughs> he says straight facts, Risa. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn my, I'm gonna take my uh, computer over there so I can read the comments. We're gonna get our hands washed and get started. Oh, I gotta put my microphone on. That's gonna help, right? That way you guys don't have to hear a huge echo, right? Thank you for doing so, Gina. Oh, you're very welcome. You are very welcome. Sometime later, I'll show you guys the puppies. I know everyone loves to see those puppies. My goodness. I tell you what, they're spoiled rotten. So you're going to hear, uh, right now, you're going to hear, I uh, like silence for just about 50 seconds, okay, or less, because I'm getting ready to plug the microphone in right about now. Okay, you should be able to hear me now. All right, can I get my cameraman in here, please? <laughs> All right, I'm flipping the camera over. All right, there we go. Let me know if at any time, if you guys, um, if the lighting is not good, feel free to let me know everything that's going on so I can fix this live and you guys can hear and see me very well, okay? All right. Can you come fix the camera for me? All right. Let's get my computer plugged up so I can see you all. Get our hands nice and clean. I got some beautiful pork chops here. Now, when I make pork chops, I just have to let you know I do not make pork chops that are boneless. I have made them boneless, but I just have to say that the pork chops that have the bone in them, they have much more flavor. They're going to be more flavorful. They're going to be more juicy. Let me get my hands washed, and I'll be right back into the equation. I can't see my uh, messages. Let me see. Let me see what we got going on here. <clears throat> Washing my hands, everybody. Making sure my hands are impeccably clean. You guys totally crack up. Y'all crack up at me when I say making sure my hands are impeccably clean. I know sometimes because I squeak my voice when I say that. <laughs> All right, there's the comments. There you are. See, Sonia says the best pork chops are the pork chops with the bone in them. So now, if you all were asking, what's that, Dakota? Oh, thank you, uh, Latricia. Thank you so much for the super chat. I definitely appreciate it. And that's Latricia Mizell. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to scoot some things around so you all can see what I'm doing. Now, there may be some people that's wondering about the uh, cinnamon apples. Sometimes I will make cinnamon apples homemade where I slice down those babies cook them in some cinnamon butter, you know, and we put some sugar in, some vanilla in them, but I'm not doing that today. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I turned around and I got these kind here. 
And I just have to tell you, they are so delicious, right? It is made by Bob Evans. They have the perfect sweetness. They're not too sweet. And the apples have some integrity. And when I, what I mean by saying integrity, they're not mush. You, you know what I mean? So these are delicious. Just throw them in the microwave to heat them up, OK? You ain't even got to season them, OK? So that's what I purchased uh, from the store. I'm going to show you all how I cut my potatoes. OK, so I like to cut my potatoes kind of like all the same size. So if you come in and look at these, can you see that? We just chopped them up into cubes. And the best thing for you all to do is try your very best. Nobody's perfect, but try your best to cut them all the same size. Because when we boil them, uh, if you have small ones and big ones, the small ones will get done before the big ones. So, but if you try your best to cut them all the same size, when they cook up, um, they'll cook at the same time. Now, what I like to do when I'm making fried potatoes is something really unique that I don't see a lot of people doing, OK? And what that is is I like to kind of pre-cook my potatoes for about, let's say, le uh, 7 to maybe 11 minutes just like a real, really quick flash boil. And then we take them out of, the, um, out of the boiling water, and then we start to fry them. And the question arises all the time, oh, Gina, but is that going to make your potatoes smushy? No, nope, and it never does. Guess what? Because we're not aiming to fully cook these potatoes, we just want to give them a head start on the cooking process. Otherwise, what can happen? Well, what can happen is you're going to be frying potatoes forever in a day because they take forever to fry. But if you pre-cook them, that doesn't happen. So now, somebody tell me in the comment section, I'm looking at the messages here, um, do you already have your potatoes nice and chopped down? If you don't, you should chop them down, OK? And we're going to do the fried potatoes first, and then we'll get to the fried pork chops, OK? Let me know, do you need to do, do you need to cut your potatoes before we move on? Okay, because what I'm ready to do, so what I've done, I've cut the potatoes, I've rinsed them maybe two, three times in cold water, and they're sitting in cold water, okay? We're going to be cooking these on like a medium heat, and I'll tell you all when to turn them off, okay? Like I said, we're not going to cook them long. So if you all have, I don't see, I, I see people saying mines are cut. Stephanie saying I'm still cutting. Okay, okay. So now, if you have your potatoes already uh, nice and cut and setting in water, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get started chopping up some onion. If you want bell peppers in your fried potatoes, then you're going to slice up some bell peppers. You can slice it. You can dice it, whichever you want to do, OK? I'm going to grab my onion out of the refrigerator, and we'll get started cutting it, OK? Stephanie is cutting hers, OK. The potatoes is the first thing I'll do. OK, great. All right, if you all ever see me doing something like this, this is I'm not messing with my hair. This is my microphone. I like to check it every once in a while. Make sure that blue light is still on there so y'all can still hear me, OK? All right, let's see. Good evening, Gina and Chet. I'm on break at work. OK, well, thank you for joining us. I'm going to grab my um, onion here. Can't have fried potatoes at the Young's house without having some good onions in there, right? So listen, guys, listen. It's fall time, and I just feel like when it's fall time, you need to go out to the store and get you some apple butter. Do you all love apple butter? We love apple butter here at the Young's house, and I totally had some pumpkin butter. And so you're, I know you're probably wondering, like, ooh, what's that taste like? It tastes good. Ooh, we had some apple butter on some croissants, and it was so delicious. All right, how y'all doing? Oh, okay, so Ron says all veggies are cut. My apple's cooked already. Okay, this is awesome. All right. So now, we're waiting on a few people to um, cut their potatoes. So let's go ahead and cut our bell peppers and our onions, OK? 
I'm going to get one of my knives out here. Someone asked me in the last live, she said, Gina, like when I go to cut my bell pepper, she said, I got seeds everywhere. And I promised that I was going to show them, so I hope you're in the comment section, how I cut my bell pepper to where I can just take nothing but the seeds out and toss it. Here's how I like to do it. Let me check and make sure everybody's okay. Oh, you can get the apple butter from, um, I got it from Kroger. I don't know if you have a Kroger where you're located. But I got apple butter and I got the pumpkin butter. Let me show you real quick. Hold on. Look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> yes, that's the pumpkin butter and it's so good. Um, so look at that. You see where it says 2024 on there? Because that's what I do for my pantry. Anything I have in my pantry, like I have a nice pantry with um, fruits and, and veggies and canned stuff, we put the date on it so you know uh, what the date is, you know, because this could, this could have sat in there for another year or so, you know. But I tell you what, I broke it out of the uh, pantry and I decided to eat it with our breakfast the other day and it was so good. Oh, so here's how I do it. So, you see I sliced the side. I'm going to slice this side. Check me out now. I'm going to slice this side, and I'm going to slice this side, right? I'm even going to cut this side. So, I was left with the seeds. So, that's how I did that for the person that had a question. Like, Gina, help me out here. When I'm cutting into mine, I got seeds everywhere. And then I tossed this. Pretty simple, right? You bet it's simple. Everything Gina Young shares with you all, it's going to be simple, okay? So now slice them, dice them, whatever you want to do with your bell peppers, okay? Now's the time to be doing that. And also, you can be cutting up your potatoes if you have not done so. Anybody have any questions? Or is everybody okay? If you got a question, put a big old stop sign or, you know, yell at me somehow. <laughs> you can put that back up. Yell at me somehow and say, Gina, please stop and look at my question. Try my best to see the question. All right. And also my cameraman will help me a little bit to answer any questions of someone's yelling at me. Okay. <laughs> yes. Escape says simple and easy. You bet. You bet. So I cut about four pounds of potatoes for the three of us because um, when I make fried potatoes, I, I feel like everybody goes in for seconds. You know what I mean? So that's the purpose for cutting so many potatoes for just us. G My holy king, how are you? It said Gina's is the place to be. Okay, this is awesome. So I got some bell peppers here, nice and cut. And then, uh, listen, I'm going to cut these babies real quick because I do not want to go off crying. I don't want to go off crying, not today. All right, let me grab a little plate so I can put my bell peppers and onions on while we wait on a few people to finish cutting their potatoes. Okay? Ah, I grabbed the bowl. Thank you, Sonia, for welcoming everybody in. We appreciate you guys. Welcome to all the new subscribers once again. Welcome back to uh, the current subscribers. All right. Don't cry, Gina. Oh, Lord. Don't mention it. I don't want to. I'm about to do this real quick. I'm not waiting on none of y'all to cut this onion. <laughs> I'm not. I'll leave y'all in the dust for this onion. <laughs> I don't want to cry. I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting on nobody to cut this onion. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I got to get this cut. Shoot, because my eyes, me and onions, we just don't get along. But I love a good onion, especially in fried potatoes, you know. All right, we're done with that. I'm going to have to wash my hands real quick. All right, nothing too special. I'm not looking for a perfectly sliced onion. Really, I'm not. I'm just trying to cut the onions so they can get into the potatoes really quickly. <laughs> All right. Give a thumbs up on the way in. Make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. It's a must. It's a must. Make the thumbs up match. I see who's in here. 
And I see who didn't give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up. Make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. Okay? Gina, cut that onion real quick, says Juice Miller. <laughs> yes, I did. Now I'm about to wipe this down and wash my hands, and I'll be right back into the equation, okay? Right back. All right. We got to wipe this down because, um, like I said, I'll go off crying. I'll have to tell y'all I'll be back because the onions that made my eyes water, you know, like a waterfall. So now I'm going to be grabbing my pork chops out. <laughs> Grace. Grace is saying I gave two thumbs up. That's kind of funny. So Grace, let me tell you this. Here's what I have to say. <laughs> you said you gave two thumbs up. So if you gave two thumbs up, that means you gave a thumbs up, and then if you clicked it, <laughs> if you clicked it again, you gave a thumbs down. <laughs> so what I want you to do is look at that thumbs up and make sure it's up. <laughs> if you click it two times, it'll go down. <laughs> huh? Or it'll, or it'll go off. So go back and look at it <laughs> and make sure it's up. <laughs> All right. You use different devices. OK. Let's see. While you are having your uh, surgery, I will be having my fourth chemo. Oh, okay, which I don't want. Please pray for me to beat this breast cancer, Melanie. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Melanie. We pray that you bless her body, her mind, and her soul. Bless her spirit and just take care of her, Lord. You know what Melanie needs before, before I know what she needs. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you ahead of time for answering and hearing this prayer. I pray that you protect over her health. I pray that you help her with any pain in Jesus Christ's name and also help her family with everything that she's going through. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And we thank you once again, Lord, for hearing and answering this prayer. Please help Melanie. Thank you, Lord, for hearing this prayer. So now I'm making my way to my refrigerator because I want to get out the desired amount of pork chops I'm going to be using. And when I wash my chops off today, I'm just going to be washing them off with a little bit of apple cider vinegar, OK? Uh, cold water, a little bit of salt. I rub them together, rinse them off, and then pat them dry with the paper towel. Nothing too special, OK? Oh, Benny says, I love that you pray. Listen, we got to pray. You got to pray. To make it, you got to pray. <laughs> like everybody has to pray. Thank you so much. Look, th this looks so good. Oh, the marbling right there that you see right there, that, that's what I love on a good point. Look at this one. Come on. Oh, that looks good. So now I want the person... Thank you all for praying for Melanie. Absolutely. I hope I'm saying her name right. Yes, we are. Now, um, uh, oh, for the person that needed to cut their potatoes, please let me know how you're doing and how far you are. Okay, so how many do I got here? I got one, I got two, three, four. I feel like I'm going to make five good pork chops, okay? And this one here, I'm going to save it, put it in a plastic bag, because I'm going to turn around and put that into some green beans a little later. Not today, but I will do that. If you can wrap that up for me, that would be great. Wrap that up for me. I'll give you some plastic wrap, okay? And then we'll put that back in the refrigerator. Where is... Well, here, put it in the freezer bag. That's all you got to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead wash the pork chops off and I'll be right back. Ain't gonna take me but two seconds. Okay, like I said, I'm using a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And then, um, also, like I told you all, um, I want you all to let me know when you're done cutting your potatoes. Okay, let me know. I hate opening my cabinets in front of y'all. I hate to open my cabinets. These cabinets are a mess. Look in there. These cabinets are a total mess. <laughs> and when I go live, I can't put the camera on pause. I just got to open it up and let y'all see everything. <laughs> I do. I do. I hate it. <laughs> All right, I'm washing my pork chops. I'll be right back in two, 0 0.2 seconds. Woo, these pork chops look delicious. 
Make sure when you rinse them off, you also turn around and pat them dry with a nice paper towel, you know. <clears throat> All right, I'm just about done. Beautiful pork chops here. All right. Woo, those pork chops look good, uh-huh. All right, I'm going to grab a paper towel, and you'll see how I like to pat them dry. Okay, and then I'm looking at the comments, because guess what we're about to do? We're getting ready to get started on our potatoes, okay? Pat your pork chops dry. How's your headache? My headache's gone. Right before I started the live, I took two Tylenol. And I feel like I had a headache because I got a tetanus shot today. Um, my doctor told me that getting a tetanus shot uh, will be good for me since I'm going to be having surgery. And because tetanus shot helps you to not get an infection in, in a wound. He said, so since you're going to get cut open, you know, that's considered a wound. And the tetanus shot will prevent you from getting infection. And I thought, this is great. I thought, give it to me. Right? So he gave me the tetanus shot today. And as soon as I got that tetanus shot, I got an instant headache. Okay, let's go ahead. <clears throat> Potatoes are in cold water. Check me out. Can you come down on this so they can see? Cold water, just barely cover them, okay? All right. I'm going to turn them on on the stove. Here, let's put them over here. Turn it on. <clears throat> excuse me. Turn it on to like a medium medium high we're going to cook those potatoes for about let's just say seven to eleven minutes after they begin to boil okay but but you'll see when i turn mine's off turn yours off okay <clears throat> oh you get a headache every oh oh you said i was getting ready to say you get a headache every 10 years the tetanus shot yes they say get a tetanus shot every 10 years absolutely <clears throat> Let's see, Debbie says, mine too. Hopefully I'll get a chance to work on it this weekend. Pork chop came from boom. I don't, I don't know what, I didn't understand what your message was, Ron. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just patting the pork chops nice and dry with a clean paper towel. All right, gorgeous pork chops here. Okay, so now one thing that we can do <clears throat> is I want to go ahead and season my pork chops. Now, I'm going to check with you all to see if you're ready to start seasoning the pork chops because if you are, we can do this together. Okay, it's just going to be some salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, and that's it. Okay, and then, of course, we're going to dredge them in some flour. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find my... <clears throat> my black pepper. If I can find a black pepper, I'll be in business. There we are. Okay, Valencia says ready. Oh, thank you, Sonia. <laughs> JV says, Gina, this is going to be good. I love some chops. Yes, it is. This is going to be great. <clears throat> All right. So now let's get our chops onto a nice, you know, onto your cutting board or a platter, wherever you want to set it, so we can get these nice and seasoned, okay? Ooh, them babies look good. Mm, I, I feel like I'm losing my voice a little. So it's crazy because although I have the microphone on, I still feel like I need to raise my voice but I don't, so I need to stop. Because like I said, I feel like I'm losing my voice because I'm screaming, but you guys can hear me when I'm talking regular, right? So I need to stop that. <laughs> Hello, Gina, you are getting it done. Thank you, Eula. All right, listen here. Black pepper, let's go in with the seasoning, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you be afraid to season, you hear me? Putting seasoning on your meat and making it taste good is the way to go. Don't you dare be that person that's afraid to season, you hear me? Because if you're afraid to season, guess what? Your food ain't going to be no good. 
I'm not saying that in a mean manner. Please understand. I just want for you all to not be afraid to season, okay? Don't be afraid to season. All right, we're going in with some nice garlic powder. Oh, yeah, get on there, baby. Woo! And look at that fat. I'm not, no, I'm not trimming the fat. I like the fat. <laughs> Is there anybody else out there that loves pork chop fat? If you do, listen here, let me know. Say, Gina, I love pork chop fat. <laughs> it's not good for you. But, I love, but what about if I love it? <laughs> you know, it's so funny. Look up at me for a second. It's so funny because people ask me all the time. People say, Gina, why do you, why do you talk in third person? Because I love to. <laughs> I love to, it's just me. What I'm doing when I'm talking in third person, to be honest, I'm answering the questions that I know you all are gonna ask. I know you're gonna ask the questions, so that's why I do it. Like Gina, well, well Gina, how come this? Well, because, you know, and then I'll say it like that. It's not, I guess it is talking in third person, but what I'm calling myself doing is answering a question before you ask, because oh, I know the questions that you're gonna ask. I know the questions that you're going to ask. <laughs> and I do that. I do do it a lot. It's not a habit. Like, Gina, does she have a bad habit of talking in th third person? No, I don't. I like to do that. <laughs> Kay Clark is laughing. Somebody asked me that yesterday. Why do you talk in third person? And I messaged them back, too. I said, because I like to. And I said, God bless you. <laughs> yes, I like to. Absolutely, season these chops up nice and good, okay? And see, what I always like to say about meats, let's talk about it. What I always like to say, so Shirley says, I love pork chop fat. And it, let's see, she said, and it helps to make the meat tender too. Ooh, yes. Um, what I like to do when it comes to the meats is let them set out at room temperature for a while. When they're really, really cold, they don't cook up juicy. But if you let them sit out at least for 12 minutes on the counter, it makes a difference in the cooking process. It's always gonna turn out juicy. Whether it's lamb, whether it's chicken, whether it's hamburger to make a hamburger patty, let it set out for a little bit. Let, the, let it come up to room temperature. Then you cook it and you're gonna say, doggone it, Gina was right. Gina was right, cause them pork chops is juicy. You know, and, and the difference meant that you must have set your pork chops out at room temperature before you cook them. Or you could try it. Try, try to make one of your pork chops straight out of the refrigerator. Season it, throw it in the pan and see what happens. That one's going to be dry, the other one won't. <laughs> uh oh, Bonnie says anything about a pork chop is pure love. <laughs> Okay. All right, so two action or two acres says, I love the way you interact with us, the audience. Um, talk any way you like. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. When I come on here, I I'm myself. You know, I like to be myself. I, I know your talk your your comments coming from the person that, that's bothered that I talk in third person, you know. Uh, but thank you for that. When I come on here, I, you know, I'm just myself, you know? And I'm not going to change because somebody don't think or somebody doesn't like me talking in third person. <laughs> All right, I season Jeannie Young style. That's what Ron says. Okay, this is great. All right, so now your potatoes should be on. They should be on like a medium high heat. And honestly, you can turn them up a little bit higher if you want to, if you want to, okay? Can you sing, not today, not today. Oh, Gina, please tell me where you got the beautiful pork chops from. Well, I got these pork chops from Kroger's. You'll, you'll, you'll notice it's a pattern that I like to go to Kroger. But I also like to go to Walmart. And I also like to go to like local meat markets, you know. So, but what I do is I take the time to, um, if I have someone shopping for my food, which 100% uh, of the time I do, I tell the person that's shopping for my food, please give me the best pork chops you see. <laughs> Make sure they have 
equal fat, equal meat, you know, like I really do. Or if I'm asking them to get me some bell peppers, I say, please get me the biggest bell peppers that you have. Make sure my mushrooms are gorgeous. Like you have to ask for what you want. And if you don't, you're going to get anything. Or when you go to your local market and you're doing your own shopping, take your time to look for the most beautiful ingredients, okay? When you purchase beautiful ingredients, it's going to taste good. All right? So now, do you, <laughs> thank you, Miriam. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to set our pork chops aside for the time being. And now what I want you all to do is grab some flour. And I would like to say any kind of flour you want to use. If you wanted to use all purpose, if you want to use um, self rising, you got almond flour, whatever kind of flour you like to use, that's what you're going to use to dredge your pork chops in. So you can see that I have some flour here on this little uh, cookie sheet. And I, when I dredge my pork chops just like so, I'm going to really pack in the um the flour and then i'm going to give it a nice shake off shake off the excess flour and you may say gina what's that for well i'm gonna tell you see that's third person because i know you're gonna ask me <laughs> you may say gina why are you gonna shake it well listen this is because if you don't shake off the excess flour the excess flour will go in the bottom of your pan and then it'll burn in the bottom of your pan and then your pork chops will have like a burnt aftertaste to them I don't want that. So I'm able to prevent that by just shaking off the extra flour that would have fallen into the pan, and then you won't have that issue, OK? So now, how's everybody doing? Is everybody in cohesive with me? If you're in cohesive with me or in sync with me, we can go ahead and here in a few minutes get ready to dredge our pork chops in the flour, okay? You're gonna need, uh, I'm looking for a cookie sheet here. Let's see. Because after we dredge our pork chops, you're gonna need something to set it on, okay? So, is everybody ready, is everybody ready to move on? If you're ready to move on, we can start to dredge our pork chops and have that done and out the way. Somebody say, I'm ready. Yes, OK. Oh, thank you, Renee. Thank you so much. Absolutely. OK, keep on moving on. All right, I'm ready, and we're ready, ready, ready. Oh, you add baking powder in your flour. Now, sometimes you will see me add some cornstarch if I'm making chicken, but it's not often. You know, if I'm trying to make, like, chicken that's really, really, really crispy and crunchy, you'll see me put some cornstarch in, but not for this recipe. Now, okay, a lot of people are saying they're ready. All right, sounds good. So now, let me show you something really interesting. In this pan, can you come close to the pan? I fry my pork chops in a little bit of oil, right? See that? Now, what's the difference? You're going to ask. What's the difference if I want to deep fry them? If you want to deep fry them, you can deep fry them. OK? Absolutely you can. You can deep fry them in a lot of oil if you want, or you can use a little bit of oil. So I want you all to decide what you want to do. Just know that you can deep fry them in a nice amount of oil, or you can fry them in a little bit of oil. I just happen, when I fry mine, to use a little bit of oil. So what I want to do is I want to turn my pan on, and I'm just going to turn it on to like a medium, medium high. You don't want this up on, on, on too high, because it's going to burn. The outside's going to be done, but guess what? The inside won't get done. If, if the heat's too high. So medium, maybe a little over a medium, OK? Let's season together. All right, come on in on this, just like so. Oh, yes. This right here, this is so satisfying to me. Really, it is. I love everything about cooking. You hear me? When, I, when I'm doing this, I'm really thinking about my grandmom, Lucille, 
and, and thinking about watching her when she would cook and, and just, just thinking about life and just relaxing out. I don't know if that makes sense, but I am so relaxed in the kitchen. You hear me? All right, so look, there's that shake. Give it a nice shake just like so, okay? You may see some of my flour blowing that way because I got a fan on because sometimes it can get a little hot in this kitchen, all right? When we're cooking good food, it always gets hot in the kitchen, <laughs> all right? So now, like I said, once again, just like so, all right? Making sure you get the sides into all the nooks and crannies. Are you all with me? Dolores says shake and bake. Um, I have, uh, I don't know if she's saying shake and bake because we're shaking these, but I have used sh shake and bake, if you all never heard of it before. I've used it back in the days, and it was delicious. Always made some good pork chops, right? Just discovered the channel last week. Awesome demos. What type of oil do you use for frying? Vegetable, canola, etc. I use vegetable oil. Canola oil, I feel like canola oil makes my eyes water. How about it? I feel like canola oil always makes my eyes water, so I don't use it. Now, I like corn oil. Vegetable and corn oil, I would suggest for frying. Okay, great question. Yes, Sonia says, or there's another Sonia in there. That's Sonia Q Cooper. She says the kitchen is... Oh, I missed her message. The kitchen is her something. Dang on it, I missed the message. I don't know if she said her holy place or her happy place, but I totally agree with you. I finally caught a live stream while you cook, and that's No TV. Welcome, No TV. And once again, I'm just going to say welcome, everybody all the returning subscribers and the new subscribers. I appreciate you all being here. Tune in to Gina Young's Live. I'm here for you guys. I'm here to show you how to cook, show you how to cook stress-free Gina Young style, okay? Absolutely I am. So now we got a hand that needs to be addressed. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna wash my hands. We got pork chops that are nice and dredged. And right now, you should have a pan, he, excuse me, heating up so we can fry some pork chops. I'm going to check in on our potatoes, and our potatoes will be done in about two more minutes, okay? So what do you mean, Gina, that they're done? There I go again. What do you mean they're done? Well, they're done with the boiling process. Like I told you, we didn't plan to cook them long. Just a quick flash, you know, just a quick flash boil, just to par cook them, okay? Let's wash our hands, and I'll be right back into the equation in about 0.2 seconds. Okay. Cleaning my hands up, guys. Listen, I hope you all are having a great day today with God on your side. I love you guys so much. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You guys cooking tonight? Yes, we are, no TV. Impeccably clean. Two minutes on the potatoes, yes. I love you too, my holy king. Yes, I do. Samuel Epp says, what's up, guys? What's up, everybody? Not much. We're getting ready to make some fried potatoes, some fried pork chops. How do you prevent the pork chops from bleeding? Okay. All right. Uh, now, <clears throat> I would like to say, I have found out when I cook Haitian style, when I boil the meat and then fry it, you're able, or if you pour hot boiling water on it, let it cool down, season it, and flour it. You could prevent that. But otherwise, you're not going to be able to prevent it. You're not going to be able to prevent it. This is meat, and it does have blood in it. You know, you know what I mean? So it's going to happen. It's going to naturally happen. But like I said, when I'm cooking Haitian style, sometimes you'll see them pour hot boiling water after they wash it. They'll pour hot boiling water on something. They'll get it nice and dry, and then they'll fry it up. You're not going to see uh, blood that way, right? 
because we put that hot boiling water on it. But that's not what we're doing in this situation. You're going to see some blood. You know, Gina, you are the first TV cooking I watched. I have tried so many of your, okay. Thank you. <laughs> David says, the fat is good for you. <laughs> Okay, you're talking to me. Crystal says, somebody tell Gina I'm talking to her. Okay, Crystal, I'm here for you. What you need, honey? What you need? I'm right here for you. Tell me what you need, Crystal. I'm here for you. Gina, do you make oxtails? I do. I don't make them often because they take a long time to cook. <laughs> okay, what did Crystal need? Crystal, if you can respond to me right now, I'm looking at the messages. Crystal, what number do you put the stove on? Uh, is it for pork chops? Now, hold on. All right, all right. I'm going to answer that question. Everybody take their potatoes off of the stove and drain them, okay? Potatoes are coming off the stove, and I'm draining them in a colander. All right? I'm draining them in a colander. Okay, I'm going to answer your question, Crystal. It, it, uh, for the pork chops, your number's going to be on like a six. Okay, pork chops, you want to cook them on six. That's going to give you like a medium, medium high. Okay, now I got a big old frying pan here for my fried potatoes. And you can see I got some oil in there, right? I ain't got a whole lot. But what I do want to do is I want to heat this pan up. I need that pan to get nice and hot on a medium, on a medium heat, medium heat. Okay. After the potatoes are nice and drained, throw the potatoes, don't throw them. <laughs> don't throw them. Easily put the potatoes in your pan with that little bit of oil. Let's get them to start browning up. Okay. Thank you, Sonia, for telling her cook them on, cook the pork chops on a six. All right, so my drained potatoes are going right into my pan. By now, that little tiny bit of oil that I have in that frying pan is nice and hot. Let's get these potatoes. These potatoes are not soft. They're just par cooked. They're still hard, but we pre-cooked them, so it's not going to take forever in a day. Get these into your pan of oil on a medium, a little bit above medium, okay? You may have a little bit of sizzling, so stand back a little bit, but don't throw them in. Okay, perfect. Potatoes, potatoes have been boiled a little bit. They should be in your pan with a little bit of oil. How about it? Okay, is everybody okay? All right, Jacoby Reeves, I'll check you out, okay? Jacoby. I'll, I'll check you out. I will check you out, okay? But you might want to comment under my last video to remind me. The last video I posted today, you comment in that video because I'll be looking at messages in that video, okay? So you remind me, I'll check it out, I'll let you know what I think, okay? Is everybody okay? Okay, so what we're going to do right now, we have to heat up our pan for our pork chops. Make that oil nice and hot, and I want you all to lay your pork chops into the oil. Okay, I'm just plugging my flat top here in. I'm going to be cooking pork chops in two different pans, okay? because I'm making a nice amount of pork chops. <laughs> All right. Okay, what Jamal wants to know, what days do you go live? Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then Saturday um, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm really thinking about adding a third day on there. We'll, we'll, we'll just kind of see. You know, you never know what Gina Young will see, though. Okay, so I'm heating this up. It's okay for you to go ahead and start frying 
your pork chops. Don't have them up on high. Don't have them on low. Cooking them on low, they won't get crispy. Cooking them up on high, the outside will get done, the inside will never get done. Medium, medium high, that's kind of about what I'm looking for, okay? But if you notice at any time your pork chops are cooking too fast, turn it down a little bit, okay? I'm just waiting on my oil to get nice and hot, and then I'm going to start adding them to the pan, okay? And somebody let me know you're okay. Uh-oh, Rachel. Thanks, Sonia. I did it to myself. I didn't follow directions. Oh, my goodness. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, there's always a way around everything. Okay? It's okay. No worries. My Holy King says, I'm okay. Thank you, Sonia. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, everyone, give me one second. I'll be right back. I'm still here. You can still hear me. Ooh, I see you said oxtails, rice, and peas. Oh, my goodness. I can see the messages still. All right, so now you should have your potatoes drained and frying up in a little bit of oil on like medium, maybe medium high, okay? Your oil should be getting nice and hot, and once it's hot, and listen, listen, here's what we can do. In between your fingertips, I want to show you all something. Take a little bit of flour, right? in between your fingertips. You see, that's a little bit of flour. You see my fingertips? All right, and then what you do is you drop the flour into your oil if you're not sure if it's hot enough. If the flour sizzles right away when you get it in there, your oil is nice and hot. But if you take the flour and you drop it in and you see it go do, 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 straight to the bottom, your oil's not hot enough. Don't put nothing in there because one of the worst things that you can do when you're cooking or you're deep frying something or frying something is if you were ever to fry something in oil that's not hot enough, it's going to turn out greasy and nasty, right? But if you make sure your oil's hot enough, it's going to be good every time. So always do that little test. We can check on mines right now real quick. If the, com if the camera will come down, let's check on mine and see what's happening. Okay, oh, look at the sizzle. How about it? We got a nice sizzle. Okay, so that tells me, since it sizzled, look, look at it sizzling. That tells me, go ahead and put some pork chops in. And I'm going to do just that. Okay, I shook it off. Oh, yeah, you got to hear that sizzle. You don't see or hear the sizzle, don't put another one in. Okay, let's see, I'm going to put another one. Just like so in this manner, get in there, baby, and you get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Okay, so in this pan I'm putting two. There's another pan behind me, and I'm going to put some in that pan. You don't have to follow me. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a nice sizzle again. Like I said, pay attention to that sizzle. Or if you put a pork chop in and it don't sizzle, Hey, wait to put another one in. You don't have to take it out, you know. Just wait to put another one in, you know. Oh, yeah. See, see? I, I, I'm cooking is not hard. You hear me? I want to wipe, wash my hands off a little bit. All right? And, and, and now's the perfect time that you literally could start cleaning up if you need be. You know? Clean up as you go. It, it's only going to help you in the long run, run not to be stressed out in your kitchen. You know what I mean? Yes, clean up as you go. You see, every five minutes you turn around and you look at me, I'm, I'm wiping it down. I'm wiping it down, making sure that it's clean, making sure that the kitchen don't look like Fred Sanford and son. <laughs> you know? And, and it just helps you to be stress-free. Now, when it comes to, let's talk about something really quickly. 
when it comes to this here, hey, put this in a uh, freezer bag and use it when you go to fry something. You want to fry some chicken? Use this. You want to fry some pork chops next week? Use this. But what I suggest is you put it in the refrigerator and you label it. You just say uh, pork chop flour. You know you're going to make some fried pork chops next week. Use this to dredge it in, okay? All right? For some reason, I always use a whole bunch of flour, you know, and um, I always have extra left over. So I put it in a, in a freezer bag, throw it in the refrigerator, I mark it, you know, saying what it was used for. I want to make some fried chicken. I'm going to use that, you know, instead of wasting it. Okay, so if you take a look down at this pork chop, take a look, take a look, take a look. You see the sizzle? Oh yeah, it's a sizzle going on. It's a good sizzle going on. It's not sizzling too much because we don't have the heat up on super high. Okay, I'm going to shake my pan where my potatoes are, okay, just to make sure nothing's sticking and make sure nothing's overcooking. If you want to, you can use the spatula and check in on them. Okay, but I don't feel like there's no need to turn them over yet because they shouldn't be golden brown. If yours are golden brown, you turn them over. <laughs> okay, but you know, they shouldn't be brown yet. But go ahead and give them a nice shake. I'm going to actually turn my potatoes down a little bit. I'm getting some great color in on them. And here in a few minutes, I'll actually show you what we got going on. Okay. We got some pork chops over here that's frying up. They're looking good, smelling good. Okay, so all of my seasonings that we used on the pork chops is going to be the same seasonings that we are using for our fried potatoes. Now, you may be the person that wants to use a little bit of red pepper flakes in your fried potatoes, and absolutely you can. Like my husband, he loves a little bit of red pepper flakes in the fried potatoes, okay? And you can do that too. You can use whatever special seasonings that you love. You go ahead and throw it in there. Go ahead and throw it in there. See what I like to do. Check me out over here. I know you guys can see me. I like to open up my spices over this way because I know I'm going to need them, you know? I know I'm going to need them, so I like to line them up where I'm going to be just like so. Okay, and now uh, check over here. T take a look at this work area. We, we got a nice work area. Looks like it wasn't ever disturbed, right? Because it just cleaned up as we went. So as far when it comes to the pork chops, when it comes to the pork chops, um, you don't have to bother them. Because guess what? And then I'll look at some messages here in a second. Your pork chops are going to give you an indication when it's time to turn them. Guess what they're going to do? Well, if you look at them from this way, you know, like that, you're going to start to see a beautiful golden brown ring towards the bottom, and that's going to be your indication that, hey, it's time to flip me or check in on me, okay? And how you check in on them is you're going to take a nice clean fork, and you're going to grab it just like so, you know, and you're going to peek at it just a little. You see that? And if it's not that perfect golden brown that you know it's supposed to be, let it down nice and easy and leave that baby alone. Okay? So, so that's all. That's all. That's all. All right? You're on the right track. I know you can do it, Gina Young style. Okay, now's the perfect time. If you want to message me, go ahead and message me. We can talk for a little bit. All right? Hold on. And then I'm going to let you guys see what my uh, potatoes are looking like. Okay? And then I also want to talk about something. Let's look at some messages first. Dakota, you need to close the office window, all these windows, because we don't want nobody looking in at us. Okay? Oh, yeah, you're cooking frozen corn? That sounds really good. Every time I try to fry pork chops, they stick to the pan and the skin comes off. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I totally understand. That can happen sometimes. And that can definitely happen if they happen to steam in the pan, you know, um, and then uh, when you go to lift it up, it, 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 it sticks to the pan. Now, if you're overcrowding your pan, 
that can happen to you. I suggest what you do, since yours is coming off, I suggest that you deep fry yours. When you deep fry it, the whole pork chop goes into all that oil, right? I mean, it's delicious that way, right? But you have a lesser chance of the, uh, uh, the batter sticking to the bottom of the pan and the batter coming off, okay? So I suggest that you cook yours a little bit more oil, okay? And I pr that, that'll, that'll most likely fix your issue, okay? I did get them from Kroger, Debbie. I'm not, um, all I was having was uh, fried potatoes and onions with my pork chops. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, because we need to talk about a few things. Now, sometimes your pork chop can go like this in a pan. If it's flat when you put it in a pan, sometimes it'll go whoop. That's like the worst thing, right? Because your pork chop doesn't get fully brown at the bottom. So what do you do? Before you cook it, you can cut a little slit in it to make it stay flat. So I see that I have a pork chop here that went whoop. It went like that instead of laying flat. If you come in close, I'm going to show you a little tiny trick that I like to do. All that's happening is the fat, OK? The fat that's on the outside has started to cook. It shrinks, and it makes your pork chop go whoop, you know, kind of make it go up in the air. OK, so what I did was I cut a little slit. Can you guys see that slit? Yeah, you do. You see that slit? It made it lay down, OK? So now I'm going to check in on these pork chops and see if I need to do that to any of these. There's one over here that I cut, OK? And I feel like there's another. I'm going to go ahead and put that little slit so they can lay nice and flat. Now, the good thing about deep frying these if you deep fry yours, you won't have that issue. How about it? OK? So yeah, absolutely. Now, sometimes you will see like this. Come in close. I want to show you. This is definitely going to happen when you're frying pork chops. When I get that come off of my pork chop, I just kind of scoot it out the way. You know what I mean? I pull it off of the chop. It's usually around the edges. Pull it off the, off the chop and just scoot it out the way. Get out of my way. <laughs> All right, let's check in on the potatoes if you guys can come in close. Oh, come around this way. Come on around. You still should start to see some gorgeous color onto your potatoes. So now if you come in close, I'm going to show you what type of color I got going on here. Ooh, we got some color, all right. And listen, don't you dare, don't you season those pork chops. Don't season them too early. If you season them too early, the, 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 uh, the seasoning burns. Okay, so what I like to do is I season my potatoes at the last minute when they're almost done. My salt, my pepper, my garlic and onion powder. Okay, look at this great color. If it's getting brown or too brown, you turn it down so it don't get too brown on you, okay? All right, we got some pork chops looking good over here. Amazing, I'll tell y'all when we turn them over and we'll turn them over together. All right, looking good. I knew it. I told you, you could do it. You could do it. Yes, you can. You can do it, Jeannie Young style. You bet you can. The stuff that comes off the pork chops, I would like to say that it's, it's blood and liquid that comes off. And then, like I said, I just move it out the way. I move it out the pan. Can you bring the camera down, please? I'm going to check in on my pork chops, see if I got some color. I got some good color. Don't bring the camera too close. Scoot back a little. All right, now I'm going to flip it over. Oh, ho, ho, ho. come on, girl. Come on. Mm. Now, when I say that, I'm not leaving the men out. Come on. See, now that I've turned it over, this one can definitely be turned over a second time so that can get nice and golden brown because I want this one to be the color of this one. But no worries, guess why? Because we can always turn it back over. I'm gonna turn these ones over and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, okay, so now I'm starting to get happy. Right, here's where you start doing the happy dance. I know there's some, some of you right now that's doing the happy dance. And, and you know what, you have the right to do the happy dance because this is some good cooking right now. 
Woo, we got some good stuff happening here. All right, oh yeah. I'm coming back here in just a second and I'm gonna be looking at comments to see if you guys have an, a, a comment for me, okay? Here in just a second. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm so glad you're here cooking with me. All right, I cannot, here's the thing. I can't wait until you taste the food. I just want you to taste it. You know, if you taste it, you, you know, you, you're going to know it's the real deal here. Ron Wilson will tell you. <laughs> Ron Wilson will tell you. He'll say, listen, if you just follow, if you just follow her, it's the real deal. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn my pork chops down that's over here because they're cooking. Woo, they are cooking. You hear me? All right. So that little stuff that I poured off the pork chops, I always like to take a paper towel and get rid of it. It's like, it's like I, I don't like it in my pan. So I just put it in a paper towel and I discard of it. Pretty simple, right? You bet it is. Okay, I'm going to turn these pork chops down a little bit. Okay, we're moving in the right direction. All right, let me see if anybody has a comment for me. Somebody let me know how you're doing. I don't want anybody to season their uh, potatoes just yet. I don't want anybody to put onions and bell peppers in just yet. Don't do it until a little later, okay? We want the potatoes to get a little bit more cooked before we season. Let your potatoes get a little bit more cooked before you put the bell peppers and onions in, okay? All right, I know you got me. All right, let's check, let's check you out, see what you got. Hey, Gina Young. Hey, beautiful people, says Christopher. Welcome, Christopher. Thank you for coming back in and joining us. If your pork chops are cooking too fast and you know that the middle's not done, turn them down a little bit, okay? All right. Everybody doing okay? How you doing? Mine is doing good so far. Okay, Ron, this is awesome. All right, is everybody okay? You ever made jerk chicken? You bet I have. You bet I have. I love jerk chicken. I feel like I need to make an updated jerk, jerk chicken just for you. I do, right? Hold on, guys. I'm still with you. Let me check in on my potatoes. Okay, I want to flip them over a little bit. We're getting some great color onto these potatoes, and I'm very happy how crispy they look. Moving in the right direction, okay? Oh, yes. Okay, so now, now's the point of time where I get all excited up in here. <laughs> all right, how you guys doing? Somebody tell me you're okay. Somebody say, I'm okay. Or tell me if you're uh, like kind of going nuts. <laughs> the handle away from you so you don't brush up against it. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. And maybe I should turn mine and listen to you. Thank you for that. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Heidi says, thank you for letting me know, Christopher. And she says, love you. I would love a pork chop, says T, Tig, Tig. I don't know how to pronounce your name. You saying, is it Teg? Tedge? Tedge or Teg? <laughs> I don't want to badger anybody's name. I'm just grabbing a spatula. And then I'm going to go ahead and I want to open up my glazed apples here. Okay. These babies are good. Ooh, are they good. Dakota, if you could get me a little pan, a little tiny pan. I'm going to put these in the frying pan instead of throwing them, you know, into the microwave, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay. I may put a little bit of cinnamon on it, but really it doesn't need it because they're so delicious. He's just moving the camera a little bit because he doesn't want to be in the camera. So that's why the camera position has moved. All right, turn your chops down if you feel the need to or you feel like your pork chops are getting done too quick. Okay, yeah, that's perfect, thank you. Okay, 
perfect. So right here, I got a little tiny frying pan. I'm gonna put these glazed apples right into this pan. How about it? You can bring that camera down so they can see what's happening all up in here. All right, you guys doing okay? Oh, yes, and all you need is about a good two, three tablespoons of this right beside your pork chop, and it is so good. Oh, trust me when I tell you this. I'll, I'll heat those up at the last minute. Turn the chops down, says Sonia. Thank you. Oh, okay, my holy king says, I didn't have pork chops for years. Mary Jane says, oh, uh, they are not frozen. No, they're not frozen. Listen, you know where you find like the Bob Evans uh, mashed potatoes or like the Bob Evans macaroni and cheese over in the meat section where you can find like the ham. That's where you find these. They're not frozen. You just pour them out, heat them up, and they, I promise you, they're so good. <laughs> I got apples all over my fingers. Okay. Gina, let's see, rice, Gina, rice. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you're saying. Are you asking me, am I making rice? I'm not making rice today. When I make smothered pork chops, I make rice. Let me check on my potatoes, okay? Oh, yeah, I got some great color. And you should have great color onto your potatoes as well. Ooh, I just took a potato out of that pan, and you know I'm going to eat it when it cools down. If you can come in real quick and show them the color that we have. Dakota, I see you in them cinnamon rolls. Guys, Dakota is in my cinnamon rolls. You better wash your hands, boy. Woo, you better wash your hands. He's about to get knocked out in this kitchen. All right, you see that? Look at the color. Look at the amazing color. I'm cutting this potato down a little bit. Great color we have there. How about it? So now I see that they're getting kind of dark. I'm gonna turn them down a little bit. Look at the color we got on the pork chops. That's what you want. This is what you're looking for. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna tell you, the perfect time to put your seasonings on the potatoes, perfect time to put the bell peppers and onions in. It's gonna be towards the end of the cooking process of the fried potatoes, okay? Keep checking in on your fried pork chops. See what they look like, you know. All right, oh yes, we got some good stuff happening here. Everybody okay? Gina, Mary asks, what is the name brand of the apples? Oh, of the apple butter. Okay, sure. And, and you guys know, also, also know that uh, you can purchase the apple butter online on Amazon. You, listen, you can purchase everything on Amazon. This is uh, made by Cooper's Meal. Cooper's Meal uh, apple butter. And you know what? You're gonna make me go in and taste. I gotta taste it. <laughs> I gotta taste it. You brought it up and I have to taste it. I'm just gonna do like a little bit. Come, come look at the consistency. Just look at the consistency. Mm, mm. Look at that. Nothing like apple butter. Mm. Mm. That apple butter is everything, you hear me? Well, when I tell you that apple butter is good, it's good. Order you some online or order you some or get you some from your local market. That pork chop that wasn't brown, it's golden brown. Oh, yeah, I just turned it over. Goodness sakes. Would it baby look good, uh-huh. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the color. Okay. We're moving in the right direction. Okay. Uh-uh, that was me. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that's my husband at the door. Mmm, that apple butter or, or that pumpkin butter, it is. It's delicious. All right, so let's check in here on these pork chops over here. I had to turn those pork chops over. Um, but let's check in on this one and see what kind of color we're getting. Oh, ho, ho. But, but I want it darker, so just let it be. If you want it darker, you let it be. Look at this one. Come on. That's what you call a pork chop. Ooh-wee, look at that. Uh-huh, that's a pork chop. Mm -hmm. So now, what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to wash that um, cookie sheet off and I'm going to find a cooling rack because when we take these pork chops out the pan, you're going to want to put your pork chops onto a cookie sheet aligned with a paper towel or uh, a cooling rack because you want for any oil that's on it to drain. You don't want your pork chop just setting in oil, right? And since we don't want that, give something to sit on. Dakota, if you can grab me a, a cooling rack, that would be great. Okay. So I got some pork chops that's getting well done over here. I'm so happy about that. Woo, my husband's going to be so happy about these pork chops today. Oh, I told him we was having pork chops and fried potatoes, and he said, you know, that's right up my alley. And I said, I know. Oh, I know. We all love this meal here. All right. So now, tell me how you're doing. Somebody say how you're doing. Eula says hello to Mr. Young and Dakota. They said hello. Oh, sorry you're late. It's okay. Welcome. Welcome, Derek Eads. We're, we're grateful that you're here. Okay, you can find a cooling rack somewhere. Now, what I want to do, we can do this together. Let's go ahead. My potatoes, and I'm going to look in the camera to see if you guys can see the potatoes. Can you see that color that we got onto these potatoes? We got some good color on there, right? And you can literally feel with your spatula or your fork if they're beginning to get soft. You're going to feel that crispiness, but yet, if you take a fork and kind of, you know, push it in there, it's going to be soft. Go ahead, now's the perfect time. Add the bell peppers and onions. Look at that. <laughs> yes, and very soon we're going to be seasoning them, okay? But like I said, I don't like to season the um, potatoes too early because those powdered seasonings, which is our onion and our garlic powder, oh, it burns. It burns quickly, right? So I like to wait. Let's make sure these potatoes are fully cooked and nice and soft. And then we'll add in the seasonings, okay? All right, so now I'm putting that back on the stove and I'm gonna turn the potatoes down just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, I got Dakota over here. You can see he's looking for the infamous um, cooling rack that most likely he put away. <laughs> he put, I know he did. He put the cooling rack away and now he can't find it. And I know if I can't find it, I didn't put it away. You, 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 do y'all ever have that happen to you? You know where somebody else does the dishes, they put them away and they put it away in a totally different spot that you would never put it. <laughs> That's what's going on right now. <laughs> That's what's going on right now behind me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> But listen, we're cooking live and we're having a fun time doing it. All right, so I got a gorgeous pork chop here that I cannot look at this. Oh my goodness. Woo! Now, some of your chops may take different times. Doesn't mean that this one's, this one's done. Don't mean this one's done. Just let it cook a little bit longer if it's not. Look at the colors and see what you have, okay? I'm going to come back in and show you guys the color that we've achieved. You know, when my husband looks at these pork chops, he always picks out the pork chop that is nice and golden brown. <laughs> Look at this. Look at what we got. Can you see that? We got pork chops and they're beautiful. Please turn that fan on for me because I'm sweating like a warthog. I don't even know what a warthog is. But I feel like if warthog sweated, they'd be sweating like I'm sweating. <laughs> Gina, you are nuts. Gina, can you stop? Yes, I can. Okay, what you need? What you need? What you need? Gina, stop. Okay. How you been? Didn't see you here last Saturday. Okay, he's talking to Ron. Okay, who needs me? Somebody needs me. Who needs me? Somebody needs me. Oh, you, okay. All right, tell me what you need. Tell me what you need, Sonia. I'm here for you. All 
All right, I'm here for you. Message me. Karen, Gina stopped. Karen, Gina stopped. I'm not sure. Yeah, the powder seasonings do burn. Absolutely. That's why I said we're not going to season. Don't season until the last minute. Gina, it was Karen. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. Okay. All right, we're going to keep on moving on. So now I'm going to bring these in the equation just to show you. We got what you call golden brown fried potatoes. Look at that. And now we have our bell peppers and onions, and they're beginning to get nice and cooked. Once the bell peppers and onions are cooked, then we can season, okay, at the last minute. You love the cooking style, Robin. Thank you. Robin Edmond, thank you. It was Karen Brooks. Okay. Okay. Sonia says, Karen, I hope you're good. <laughs> I hope you're okay, too. Oh, you're very welcome for the prayers. Thank you. Everything's looking good. Okay, is everybody moving cohesive with me? Everybody doing okay? And listen, one thing that I also would like you to do, make sure nobody's smoke alarm comes on, turn your fan on above the stove because sometimes it can get a little smoky in here when we're frying something, like a pork chop or chicken. Turn that, turn that uh, the, over the stove fan on to um, prevent your smoke alarm going off, okay? So now... We're going to turn these apples on. I'm going to rinse this pan here. And everybody's moving in the right direction. I'm coming back into the video here in just one second. I'm just rinsing the pan off. All right, we're looking good. I'll be taking my last pork chop out. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, you know, listen, you know that baby going to be good. You know it. Uh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Show the people. Show the people fried pork chops, Gina Young style, and I'm pretty sure yours should be looking like this too. They should look just like this, okay? Yes, they should. So now since I have um, the uh, cinnamon apples, I'm just going to heat them up a little bit. I'm going to throw a little tiny bit of cinnamon in them. Okay, glad you're feeling better, Ron, says Shannon. Hi there. I made gumbo last week and I followed your recipe. Delicious, says Robin. Thank you. Okay, Christy says, I'm going to do this tomorrow since I'm late. No problem. No problem. Message me and let me know how it turns out for you. So now my two pans that I used <clears throat> for the pork chops. I'm rinsing them and I'm wiping my bigger stove off right now. Fried potatoes are looking good. Like I said, as soon as my bell peppers and onions get done, we're gonna season these babies and guess what? It's almost time to eat. You bet it is. I hope you guys are having the time of your life. Give me red hearts up in the comment section letting me know that you are having a lot of fun with Gina Young. If you haven't given a thumbs up, back out to give a thumbs up and come back in. Let's make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. Clean up as you go so you can be stress free. Huh? Okay, I'm seeing a whole lot of red hearts. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this time here at the Young's house. I'm so grateful to have you. Okay, listen, I'm going to grab some cinnamon for my apples. Uh, hopefully I can find it. Let's see, I got some allspice. Don't tell me I got to, oh, I got to tear this cabinet up here just to find cinnamon. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got some cinnamon. And I'm also going to put just a little tad of allspice. Oh, that's it. All right, these are hot. These are bubbly. You can smell the cinnamon in the air. Oh, my goodness. Come on, somebody say yes. <laughs> yes. Let me know because I'm really curious. 
Let me know uh, what vegetable you guys decided to cook with yours. I'm going to look in the comment section, and then I'm coming back in the season. Okay, so let's look at the comment section, and then it's time to season the potatoes, all right? So let's move these gorgeous pork chops out the way. I'm going to bring the potatoes over. We're going to season them together. How y'all doing out there? Is everybody okay? Everybody's uh, pork chops and potatoes turning out. They should be turning out this exact way if you... Uh, <laughs> If you're cooking along with me. <laughs> All right, here's the seasonings. I'm going in with garlic powder and I'm not going to be afraid to season. All right, look at that. Black pepper because you need it. All right. Onion powder is going to make it taste delicious even though you're using onions. I feel a sneeze coming on. Salt. Okay, a little bit of parsley flakes just because it makes everything beautiful. So now, now that we've seasoned, we really only have to cook these babies for another five minutes. And then guess what? Dinner is served. Somebody let me know you're okay. Somebody let me know that your food is done or almost done. All right, throwing this back on for five minutes so my spices don't burn. And uh, hey, we did it again. We did it again. Gonna actually have a fresh salad. Oh, Jackie, that sounds great. Gina has a lot of cooking. Let's see, Gina has to do a lot of cooking Thanksgiving. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's pretty exciting. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love to cook Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday. Uh, Ron said, okay, ready to chow down. Oh, you was wondering that. Was you wondering if I'm cooking on Thanksgiving? Ah, uh, yeah, I cook every Thanksgiving, and we make a lot of food. But now, yeah, what I like to do is uh, do videos for you all. And when I upload the videos, it's showing you how to make everything that you ever wished you could make yourself for Thanksgiving. Now, I mean, I show you guys how to make eggnog. I show you how to make the turkey greens, baked potatoes, like everything, anything you can think of, Gina Young's going to show you how to do it. Yes, I do. I do it for New Year's. I do it for Christmas. I do it for Thanksgiving. Uh-oh, Mildred, Mildred Campbell says, the food is done and the boys are eating. Okay, this is great. All right. Gina, what is the name of the cookware you're using? The name has rubbed off. And I, I really don't know. I don't have it linked in the channel. I don't know. I, I pour it um, into I pour it into a dish, and then I can discard of it or reuse it. Oh, okay. Heidi says I want to make homemade eggnog. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Absolutely. Okay, my potatoes are done. Okay. So now I'm going to get a nice platter. If you can wash this for me, please. We're going to present everything. I'm going to go ahead and say a nice prayer over everything. And then together we can eat. After I make the plate, I come right around to the face of the camera and we sit and chat for a while. Okay. How about it? Oh, you said you can't wait to learn how to make it. Okay. Oh, you picked up the success rice and the smart balance butter. Okay, yeah. T let me know how, what you think about both of them because the smart balance butter, it's healthy for you and it tastes delicious, right? And as far as the boil in a bag rice, like I said, it's just perfect. Cook it for 11 minutes. You got nice fluffy rice. That's what I love. All right, I want to show you the apples once again. Beautiful. I want to show you the pork chops once again. Gorgeous, come on. All right, and my potatoes are done. The potatoes are going to go onto a platter. Listen here, everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed this today. 
Go ahead and dry that off for me. Oh, you said spike yours. <laughs> a lot of people like their eggnog spike. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, a lot of people are in fear of, of um, drinking eggnog because of raw eggs. But guess what? I don't put raw egg. I don't put eggs in my eggnog. I don't do it. I don't put eggs in my eggnog. So my eggnog is eggless, and it's so delicious. It tastes like a melted down milkshake. It tastes better. Huh? Yeah, mine's is just nog, no eggs. <laughs> All right, look here. Potatoes going on. Can you give me a good visual here? Look at that. And the potatoes have color. When they have color, it tastes better. Don't give me no fried potatoes that are that that are are, are don't have color to them. They have to have color in order for it to taste good. Just like the pork chops. You want the color because you need the flavor. The flavor is in the color. You know, whether that's meat that you're cooking, whatever. Uh, fried chicken. You know fried chicken ain't going to taste good if it ain't got that color on it. Right? Same for your potatoes and your pork chops. Let's go ahead and say a prayer. Are you all ready to say a prayer? Oh, you like fried corn with your pork chops and mashed potatoes. That sounds good now. I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer. Heavenly Father, I'd like to thank you for every single person in this chat today. I pray that you bless over their lives and keep them safe. I pray that you protect them in Jesus Christ's name. No weapons formed against any of us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Devil, you stand no chance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercy, your love, your time, your understanding. We thank you for a peaceful mind in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for this special time today and, and, and giving me the strength and the courage and the will to do what I do on a daily basis. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift that you've given me to share with the world. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right. Who's ready to eat? Oh, Crystal. She said it already. She said, let's eat. And thank you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right. How about we do it? Let's make a plate. We're going to make a plate right now. How many of you? Somebody let me know. Because I know my husband, he loves a good pork chop, but he has to have hot sauce on it. Let me know if you like hot sauce on your pork chop. Uh-oh, you want two plates? Oh, my goodness. Okay. I have some potato bread. I'm having potato bread with mine. Hot sauce. Oh, I see it. Yes, hot sauce. Yes, hot sauce. Everybody's saying it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm slicing a piece of uh, potato bread. I figured I'd buy this for today's meal. Um, it's been a while since we had it. When I first met my husband, I, would introdu I introduced him to potato bread, and he loved it. So I said, we're going to have some today with our fried pork chops. Yes, OK. All right, hot sauce on the potatoes. OK. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab some ketchup. Let's make a plate. We're going to eat together. Amen once again to our beautiful prayer. Let's chit chat for a while. And then what, what I like about this part what I like about this part is um, I get to sit down. I get to hear how you enjoyed the recipe. I get to eat, of course, and we can talk. All right? So I'm going in for some of those potatoes, but not too much because I got to watch my sugar. You know, I got to watch my sugar. But I want some potatoes. <laughs> yes, I do. All right, so now I'm putting ketchup on my plate. How many of you put the ketchup all over your potatoes? My husband, he just goes like that over his plate. I just put like a little dab that I can dip. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to grab my favorite pork chop here. Do you, um, don't, let's see, somebody says don't want, What are y'all talking about? Don't want dust flying over the pork chops? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, this one right here. 
Oh, man. Okay, I think this one looks good to me. Perfect. And then I'm going to grab some apples and I want to get me some water. Coming around, guys. I'm coming around. A little bit of hot sauce on my pork chop, right? Let me get a fork and a knife. Come, hey, look at the plate. Look at the plate. But it's okay. If you can't, if you can't see it, you're going to see it when I come around. All right, here's the hot sauce. Dakota, can you give me some ice water, please? Wash your hands. Don't, 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 don't do it. I know, don't do it. Ice water. Wash your hands. Coming around. Uh-oh, I got a puppy follow me, guys. They know that the food is ready. Okay. I'm going to show you. I, now, I put hot sauce all over the pork chop. Look at that. Hold on. I'm going to have to do this. We'll bring the camera down. All right. Come in on it. There's the, oh, my goodness. This right here, I just have to step in and say just how easy this was to make. Go ahead and grab a plate. Grab a plate if you want some. Look at that. It was easy. It was so easy to make. All right, I am going to grab some of that potato bread. I will be taking the microphone off. Okay, here in just a second. Thank you. And a paper towel, please. Thank you. Okay, coming in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Hold on. Uh-huh, I'm going to start singing. I'm so happy, but I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Forgot I had the microphone on. All right. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Yum, I see. I see. All right, baby. You might want to cover that up to make sure no gnats get in the food, honey. Baby, you might want to cover that up, make sure no gnats get in it. Yeah. You know how those little gnats be hanging around. I don't know how they get in the house. All right. Bon appetit. Okay, says Robert. Yvonne, hello, how are you? Okay, 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 I'm showing you again. I'm showing you again before I go in. Ready to hear, uh-uh, not today, cake coffee. Oh, uh, Latika says I want three over easy eggs with that. That actually does sound good, right? Look at this. And like I said, the pork chops and the apples goes perfectly with this. Look at that. There's, oh, there's, there's hot sauce on the pork chop, okay? There's hot sauce on the pork chop. And the potato bread that I sliced. It has a little bit of hot sauce on it, but we'll work, we'll, that's okay. Amen once again to our prayer. Okay, Jackie says, your plate is banging. That's a mighty good plate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gina, um, you're making me hungry again. I already ate homemade sloppy joes and fries. <laughs> okay. All right. This is great. But listen, if you're not cooking with me, you know, you didn't cook this today, you can always, you know, turn back around and make this recipe. Make it. You can make it Gina Young style, and it's so easy. Okay. Thank you, Ashes. Oh, not Ashes. Thank you, Joey. Ashes is cracking up, but I don't know what they're laughing at. All right, so let's cut down into, here, I got to do this first. We got to taste the apple first. Look, and it's, it, oh my goodness, the glaze on. Mmm. <laughs> 
Mmm. Mmm. Now, I'm going in for the fried potatoes. A little tiny bit of ketchup. Look at that. <laughs> yes, come on. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Give me a thumbs up if you have not done so. Oh, thank you so much. I don't do makeup tutorials. I have no clue how to do a makeup tutorial. Look at that, look at that, look, 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 look. <coughs> mm. I gotta cut the pork chop. Everybody's waiting on the pork chop reveal. Oh, you're gonna get to see it. You're gonna get to see it. Oh my goodness. Now, what you're seeing right now is juiciness. You're seeing some juiciness, all right. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Uh-huh. Mm. Erka Hughes says, put my meal at the front door. Mmm. <laughs> Listen, it does. It is juicy and tender. These pork chops are so good right now. Oh, and there's the fat. Fried potato. Mm. Mm. A little bit of potato bread. Mm. Mm -hmm. Miss Karen says, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But, like I said, everything Gina Young does, you can do as well. All right. I feel like I need to turn. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn the microphone off. Thank you, Nicole. It is. And I'm going to go mute for just a second. And then the sound will come right back, okay? Okay, the sound is back. Microphones are off. Thank you so much for showing me the bell pepper. I was cutting too close to the core. Oh, okay, no problem. Absolutely. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Great combination. Eggnog is good. It tastes like Christmas in your mouth. Yes, it does. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Let me know how your food is, or is your food still cooking? You know, let me know. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just enjoying every, I'm savoring every bite. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a big old apple. Look at it. Mm. Mm. You said it froze? When did it freeze? Thank you, Heidi. You're very welcome. Mm. Valencia says everything is good. Thank you. I'm so grateful that you cook with me, and I'm glad you're enjoying your food. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Uh-huh. See? Hmm. Oh, mine is good. <laughs> Says Ron. Okay. Thank you, Drew. Oh, it didn't froze on your end. Okay, sometimes I feel like when people say that, it's just like their internet connection, you know, and they need to, like, you know, come back in after their internet comes back up. I got to 
I got ketchup on mine because I love ketchup. Mmm. It's good. Let me tell you how good it is. You take some, some of the meat and then take some of the apple. Mmm. Oh, I'm not. I knocked my fork on the floor. It's so good. <laughs> oh, you mix hot sauce and ketchup together. Okay. Well, I need to put this fork into the sink and grab another one. One second. is right there. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jackie. Mm -hmm. I, I do like snow crab. Um, We like, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we like the king crab and snow crab. But I agree with what my husband likes to say. We like it, but it's just so little of meat to fight for. You know, when you have the snow crab legs, it's delicious. Yes, it's delicious. But you got to fight and tug for that meat, you know. Sometimes I just rather have a good old pork chop, you know. Mm. I've never heard of seafood deviled eggs before in my life. Oh, this is so good. Am I blocked? Mildred Campbell says, am I blocked? You shouldn't be blocked. I can see you. If I'm seeing your message right now, you should not be blocked. But if you're messaging me on somebody else's account, because you can't message me on your account, you may be blocked. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, wait. Mm. You always enjoy, Lori, Lori Roth, thank you for coming in. I'm louder for you without the mic. Okay. Thank you, Drew. Uh, listen, here, okay, so here's how it goes. The microphone does definitely help because the kitchen is so big it echoes. And I was getting a lot of complaints about people saying, Gina, uh, when you record, you're so far away behind the island, excuse me, that we can't hear you. So I know that the microphone works for sure. But when I take it off, when I'm right in front of you like this, yes, you can hear me better. But when I go back there, I need the microphone, you know. Oh, yeah, Lori, I know it's never too loud for you. Yeah. Gina, do you think my skin comes off because you seasoned it too much? No. I think that you're overcrowding the pan and you don't have the temperature up high enough. Lori, we made fried pork chops. We made uh, fried potatoes and onions. Oh, you wish I would have put butter. Oh, okay. I'll do that next time. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh 
<laughs> you said, when did I see? No, I was just humming a little bit when I got my plate because I was so excited. So I wasn't singing. <laughs> I tell you what, this pork chop has got to be like the best pork. Look at the fat. Look at the fat on there. Oh, my goodness. Has anybody from Popeye? They're always trying to sell them for the holidays. I've never had it. Can you send me the link to tonight so I can just see the recipe? Um, what you're gonna do, Lori, uh, once this once this live ends, or, or, or you can just rewind the live right now. Rewind it so you can see it. Or watch the live later, okay? Hmm. Listen, this, uh, my food, he says, my food is so good, especially since you taught me not to be afraid to season. Honestly, it has been a total game changer. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful to hear that. Same Samuel says, my mother wants to know how to make your famous peach cobbler. Oh, okay. Well, what you do is you tell her to look at the video. There's a peach cobbler video. And, um, you know, let her rewind it so she can watch it. Tell her she can stop it and pause it and learn how to make it. And it's so delicious. Okay, like she'll totally love it. Mmm. Look at the color on the fried potatoes. Mmm. Mm. You can get those apples at Walmart. Oh, Frank's hot sauce. You said you put that on everything. Yes, it is, Sonia. She said the bone is the best part. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Thank you. Help. Um, Hesling, I think that's your name, Hesling. Do you know how to make curry goat? I don't make goat, but I know how to make some curry. I mean, I can show you how to make some good curry. I got several recipes on my channel where I show you how to make curry, but my family and myself as well, I'm not a fan of the goat. The goat is, is kind of gamey to me. Let's see what Derek is saying here. It has two, it has two for me. I always season my food now. Gina taught me as well. I learned to love food again. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, you made collard greens with yours. Oh my goodness. Okay, bye. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining us today, Raymond. I love you too, Lori. Thank you for, thank you, Lori. I love you. What section in Walmart are the apples? The apples? Mm, let me chew this. <clears throat> the apples are sometimes in the deli section. Okay? And then sometimes you can find them in the meat section like where they have their ham and their ham hocks and things like that. You look down. I, can, I actually can see a picture of you, Lori, so I know exactly what you look like. I see you in your picture with your sunglasses. Yes. So uh, you guys can see me, but I can see your picture that you uploaded to, uh, you know, uh, YouTube. So yes, I get to see you guys. Only people that I can't see is the ones that don't have a picture for their account, you know. Can you make it homemade to apple butter? Yes, you can. Um, and I've never made apple butter, but I'm pretty sure I could make it if I, you know, put my heart into it. You know, I can, you can always learn how to make anything. Anything you want to learn how to make, you can do it. Mmm. I tell you one thing, this has got to be the best pork chops I ever made. 
Mmm. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's the fat. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all had a great time. So now, what I want to do... Oh, you're going to change your profile pic. Okay. <laughs> it does equal good flavor, right? Oh, okay. The picture is you and your wife. Okay, yeah. Yours, um, your notification, if you um, change, you can change, your, okay, Lori, you can change your notification to where they make a noise for you, but you got to go in your phone settings. You're going to go to general, go to your settings, and then go to notifications. And then you can say you want for your notifications to let off a loud noise or to let off a beep. You can fix that so yours makes a noise because I know you normally like the closed caption, but you can go in your settings and fix that. Yeah, yeah. See, because when I get a notification for something that I love to watch, mine goes, bing, you know, something like that. And I'm like, okay, so what, what's this? And it's always what I'm looking for, what I was looking to see, you know. And when I hear that ding, I look on my phone, I get so excited because it's most likely something that I was waiting on or that I want to see, you know. Oh, we need 35,000 more subscribers to get a million. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. This is exciting. This is totally exciting. Thank you. Oh, you like to eat pork chops with A1 sauce. Okay. Oh, you're always on your phone? <laughs> That's why you don't miss the notifications, okay? A1, A1, oh, he said A1 is too salty. Oh, I, I actually like A1, um, but I like it on my steak, you know. Oh, you missed it too, Melissa. Okay, well, welcome to the chat, okay? You can always come back and watch it later, you know, or we rewind it and watch it later. Okay, so John says, I'm sorry I couldn't join today, but I'll go back and watch it and get my pork chops ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you, Yolita. A1 is good on any meat, just about. Oh, okay, okay. So now... Let's talk about the holiday is coming up. The holiday is coming up, and I know you all have a ton of questions for me for the holiday. What's some of the questions that you have uh, for me for preparing your holiday? See you later, Chi Chi. Thank you for coming in. Okay, see you, Cynthia. Thank you for coming in. I'd rather use ketchup. Oh, okay. Have a great one, my holy king. Thank you for coming in. Oh, no, it's not offensive. No, it's not offensive. You just, um, it's not offensive. You just go to your settings and go to general settings your notifications and put that you want a sound to come on for your notification okay and you will never miss it that that wasn't offensive okay good night my holy king yes thank you for coming in and joining us what are you doing for halloween day um i think that dakota's going to be passing candy out there's like a ton of kids in my neighborhood that's going to be, um, you know, coming to the house for candy. Last year, we didn't pass out candy. And um, it was funny to look at the doorbell camera and see all of the costumes. <laughs> Everybody came up to the door. But I think Dakota's going to pass candy out, so that'll be exciting. 
it's not so much as celebrating it. It's just really about uh, giving the kids some candy, you know, because, because when I was younger, people gave me candy, you know, so it's not about us celebrating it, nothing like that. And people gave Dakota candy when he was little. And it's just about giving those kids something to, something sweet to eat, you know, and that's all it's about, you know, seriously. Dina, could you update your apple pie recipe this Christmas? Absolutely, I could. Thanks for having me, everyone. Yes, you're welcome, Lori. Thank you for coming in, Lori. We love you. Gina, will you be showing us how to make delicious pies? I'm gonna. Yes, I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you how to make everything. I just recently learned to use different potatoes for different dishes. I bought a bag of Yukon Gold today to use with stewed beef. I'm making this weekend. Can I use Yukon Gold? No, okay. okay, great question. I don't use Yukon Gold for fried potatoes. I don't. I use Idaho or Russet for fried potatoes. Now, you can use Yukon Gold for potato salad. Yes, now, that, that's a great question. Yukon Gold, potato salad. Yukon Gold, I make a honey butter smashed potato. You can use that for that. But when you're making, um, Fried potatoes, russet, or Idaho is going to give you that perfect consistency. The Yukon Goat, if you fried them, they would be mushy. Nobody likes fried mushy potatoes, right? So use a potato that keeps its integrity and, and kind of stays, um, kind of stays to where it's not going to get mushy when you fry it. Thank you, honey. I wrecked my brain trying to do that because <laughs> yeah. I have to. You said that's a good word. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I love my husband. <laughs> Knock him off the park. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That's a nice one. <laughs> Rachel, thank you. Good night to you as well. <laughs> Okay, so any questions you all have for me for the holiday? Okay, so, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to decide what we're going to be doing on Saturday, okay? It'll be something really special. I feel like when I've been coming up, <clears throat> when I have been coming up, with the ideas of what we're gonna be cooking on Thursday and Saturday. I've been coming up with some good stuff and y'all have really been enjoying it. So, to, uh, tonight I'm gonna to come up with what we're gonna be cooking Saturday. Tomorrow in the community post early, I'm going to post what we're gonna be making. And I'm also gonna put the ingredients of what you're gonna to need to cook with me. It will be a holiday dish. It's gonna be a holiday dish. Oh, somebody says stuffing recipe. It's gonna be a holiday dish and you all are gonna to want to cook it with me. You're gonna to wanna to learn how to make this for your holiday. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on holiday stuff. I, I've already decided. I'm gonna get started on this holiday stuff right now. Okay, so something that whatever we're making on Saturday, it's gonna be a holiday dish. And you, listen, you make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your notification bell is on and make sure you press all so you can be notified when Jeannie Young goes live, when I make um, a video, or if I'm posting something in a community post, you know? You wanna, you wanna get that notification. Make sure you, baby, make sure you get you some apples, okay? All right, gotcha. I'm just that baby. Oh, okay. Can, uh, you can freeze all the holiday food and serve it on Thanksgiving. Oh, that's Brandy. Oh, okay. That's what Brandy is saying. She said you can freeze the holiday food and serve it on Thanksgiving. Yeah, we are. We're, we're, we're cause several weeks away and I'm ready. Oh, oh, okay, you said show us how to make the eggnog. <laughs> oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. But like I said, I'm going to get started on this Thanksgiving stuff. So y'all, listen, you better tell your family. You better tell your family and friends and everybody you know, Jeannie Young is getting down in that kitchen. And she's starting on holiday stuff 
right now. Right now, it, it starts Saturday. Oh, corn pudding, oh my goodness. I'm gonna show you how to make it all, John. What are you cooking for Thanksgiving? Tara, I'm gonna be making uh, turkey. I'm gonna be making homemade cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, giblet gravy, baked macaroni and cheese. I make a special green bean. I make a sweet potato casserole. I make um, corn. Uh, the corn, the scallop corn. I make, um, huh? Stuffing. Okay. Uh, yeah, the candy yams. Uh, uh, the candy yams, I, I turn around and make a, a sweet potato casserole. And it has pecans and brown sugar on the top. <laughs> Listen, I, I make a ton of stuff. I mean, we got cheesecake. We got pineapple upside down cake. We got sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie. Everything is on the menu at the Young's house. Right? And so, look, every, asparagus, all kinds of stuff. Yes. That, uh, Christopher says, now that is the good stuff. Yes, it is. Now, uh, oh, you said rice? No rice for the holiday. No. Do we do rice? What kind of rice? He said for beans. Oh, Dakota said I made uh, black eyed peas last year. So if I make that, I will make some rice on the side, you know. Oh, you said you want Cornish hen. That's great. And you know, uh, Sonia, I, I have Cornish hens a recipe that you could, you know, copy that recipe and, and make it. Um, what else do I make, honey? What else do I make? Honey ham. Honey ham, honey glazed ham. Yes. What else? I said cranberry sauce. I said sweet potato pie, giblet gravy, yes. Oh, dinner rolls. We're going to have the dinner rolls. Green bean casserole, yes, there you go. Just tell them it's about to go down. Uh-oh, my husband said just tell them it's about to go down. And that's what he sound like when he said it. It's about to go down. <laughs> Yes, he said she cooks everything. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun because you all know me. You know, I like to teach in detail. I mean, I'm showing you how to clean out the turkey bird. I'm showing you how everything. Yes, I I'm showing you how to do it all. So, so like I said, tell your family and friends. You know, I'm pretty sure you know somebody that's going to need some help this Thanksgiving or they're going to need to grab a paper and a pad, you know, uh, what do you call it? A pad and pen. What do you call it? <laughs> a pad and pencil. Tell them to get it ready because they can take so many notes. You're welcome. I love you. Oh, yeah, cleaning the turkey because some people don't know how. I want to show you how to get the giblets out the turkey. What's the best way to cook the turkey so it can be, to cut the turn the fan off, so it can be nice and juicy. All kinds of stuff. Woo, yes. And um, I just have to tell you, when I make my Thanksgiving, all of my food goes in those aluminum pans. You know how you can get uh, those... Uh, aluminum pans that you can toss out when you're done. <laughs> I love those because I don't have to use all of my pans in my cupboard. Oh my goodness, she says, last year I made a turkey, accidentally baked the bag in the inside. I told, now it's okay, I totally understand. It happened to us one year. I was working, my husband was off working. And I had him make the turkey one year, and he cooked the turkey with the bag inside. I got home in enough time I was able to get that bag out when we finished cooking the turkey. And it was a beautiful Thanksgiving. <laughs> but I think a lot of people has had that happen to them before. <laughs> you said, I know, I missed it. I looked for it and didn't see it. Now, sometimes it's in the neck part. And then they got like a flap of skin over it. But if you pull that skin up, you'll see the giblets, the bag. And sometimes they have like a little bag of gravy in there now. 
But if it's not there, then it's in the, um, you know, between the legs where that little uh, hole is. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yes, we had that happen to us before. We, me and my husband was really young when that happened. Oh, you never cleaned and cooked a turkey. Okay. I, I, I know you could do it with Gina Young on your side. Sonia, you could do it, I'm telling you. Oh, do you spatchcock your turkey? I don't. I got my pad and pencil ready now. Okay, so let's talk about, yeah, disposable pans. Have those in every size. You, look, you can go to the, I'm getting excited now. You could go to the, the club, turn the heat on, at least 77. You could uh, go to the dollar store and get all your pans, right? All different kinds of sizes, you know? And um, after you make your mashed potatoes, put your mashed potatoes into um, an aluminum pan, right? And then cover it up with foil. After you make your cranberry sauce, put it into an aluminum pan, just a little aluminum pan like this, like a loaf pan. Cover it with foil. The turkey. Um, you can use two aluminum pans for your turkey. I, if I'm using an aluminum pan for my turkey, I use two to really stand up to that weight of the turkey. Baked macaroni and cheese, we use aluminum pan. Baked beans, aluminum pan. Now, I mean, if you're making potato salad or something like that, just put it in a, a Tupperware bowl. You know, but or green beans. You go ahead and drain some of that liquid. Put it in, a, uh, in one of those um, aluminum pans, absolutely. And you can stack everything in your refrigerator in those aluminum pans. Do you like pork shoulder? I love pork shoulder. I, I, when I cook pork, pork shoulder, um, uh, I cook it to where it just shreds apart. A lot of Puerto Rican, they have the pork shoulder, which is called pork shoulder butt roast, and that's what they have for their holidays. And I can't think of the name of what it's what they call it, but that's what they have for their holiday, and it's delicious. She used to crack me up saying that, saying what? I love it with barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. So now, um, what I like to do, I want to tell y'all, because so many people have the question. So, Gina, if I'm cooking, oh, the fish are doing great. They're doing well. So now, when I'm cooking Thanksgiving, um, I don't do that, Dakota. When I'm cooking Thanksgiving, I don't like smoked. I don't like smoked meats. Some people do, but I don't. Have you ever smoked your turkey? I'm not a fan of smoked meats, not even smoked ribs, for some reason. Let's see, Lori, I'm forgiving you for saying I don't want to be blocked. I love you all. Oh, I love you too, Lori. I'm forgiving you for saying L-M-A-O, I don't want to be blocked. Oh, no, Lori, I would never block you. I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> but I love you. I'm not going to block you, Lori. Um, what was I going to say? Crap, I forgot what I was going to say, y'all. <laughs> My goodness. Um, somebody tell me what I was going to say. Somebody read my brain right now. Read, read my brain. Um, oh, here's what I was going to say. So if you're the person that's going to be cooking or you're going to be cooking a whole lot of stuff, here's what I like to do. The day before Thanksgiving or the day before Christmas, I start making things like that's going to take a while. Baked macaroni and cheese. Make it the day ahead of time, okay? While you have baked macaroni and cheese in, why not put your sweet potatoes, your candy yams, or your sweet potato casserole on the other rack in the oven? So you got two dishes in the oven. You got sweet potatoes, you got baked macaroni in the oven. When they're done, you let them 
cool down a little bit, cover them up, put them in the refrigerator. That's two dishes, two big dishes done and out the way. If you decide that you want to make a big old pot of homemade green beans or greens, go ahead and make it the day ahead of time because it's going to take several hours. You could have greens cooking on one side of the stove, green beans cooking on the other side of the stove. When they're done, let them cool down a little bit, put them in the refrigerator, okay? And then the day of, I like to make... The day of, I like to make the turkey, like the night before. When it, it, late at night of Thanksgiving, I like to put my turkey on so that my turkey will be done very early in the morning on Thanksgiving, right? The day of, I like to make my giblet gravy and mashed potatoes. You want, mash, you want fresh mashed potatoes, right? You want fresh gravy. You can make the dressing the day of. And then you're not slaving in the stove. Because literally, like the day before you made four dishes, you may have, you can make something like your corn pudding or your scallop corn the day of. Just, just plan to make three or four things the day of. Plan to make everything else the night before. And you are going to have a successful holiday that's stress-free. Now, Let's talk about this. Everybody talks to ask me this, Gina. So what desserts are you gonna be making? Listen, I'm gonna be making every dish known to mankind, right? So am I really gonna be making a whole lot of desserts? Here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy some of my desserts pre-made. Yes, I know how to make all those desserts. But am I really going to have all the time for it? And do I want to be stress-free? I want to be stress-free. No, I don't have all the time in the world to make a whole bunch of desserts. So what do you do? You buy it frozen. Is there des delicious desserts that come frozen? Yes, it is. You know there's delicious cheesecake? You know it is. You know there's frozen delicious cheesecake. Right? You go in the bakery, they have homemade pound cake. You know, they have 7-Up cake. They have all of these beautiful, delicious pies. Why not get them that way? But then, so some of you are going to say, but Gina, aren't you going to make a sweet potato pie? You bet I am. <laughs> some of you may say, but Gina, aren't you going to make a, a pumpkin pie? Yes, I am. But all those other desserts, I can buy them pre-made. And guess what? They're going to get eight and everybody's going to love them. There's not going to be anybody that's going to come in and say, you didn't make homemade apple pie. No, they're going to say this apple pie that you heated up in the oven is delicious. You see what I'm saying? Yes, there's never going to be anybody come in and say, oh, that, peach, that peach pie was heated up. They're not going to say that. They're going to say, this peach pie is banging. It's so good. Thank you. And you don't have to tell them that it's not homemade. Because you are going to have some homemade things. You might be that person that wants to make homemade brownies. You make your homemade brownies. You make your pumpkin pie. But then the other desserts, buy them frozen. Or buy them out the bakery. There's delicious stuff in the bakery that your family will love. Okay? So that's my trick. Yes, that's my trick. <laughs> I see your message, Derek. Say, just don't tell people you made a good pie. <laughs> And you brought it. <laughs> seriously. Seriously, they're going to love any. Listen, if you, listen, come on. Get a big, get a big thing of cookies out the dairy section. Have your kids bake them off and then put them on a beautiful platter. Come on. You know those guests are going to love some cookies, some nice warm cookies that you made. Doesn't, make, doesn't matter if they're homemade. It just matters that they're there and they're delicious. You know, and that's how I make. Can you do a live tutorial for Thanksgiving the day before? Yes, I am, Lori. Yes, I am. But, but yeah, but yeah, that, that's how I remain stress-free. So like, like I said, my family loves the eggnog. Oh, I make it homemade. My family loves the cranberry sauce. I make it homemade because those two things don't take forever in a day to cook. 
You know, like make it, make it so you are not stressed out in that kitchen. I think, I feel like I want to make some hog mugs this year. So you all are going to get to see that. Oh, you cannot have a holiday without Patty's sweet potato pie. Okay. Understanding life. Okay. People will eat whatever served, absolutely. I even like to do things like, um, you know, you might want to do something like a vegetable platter. And then you serve like a ranch dressing or a ranch dip in the inside. And then put beautiful carrots, you know, celery, you know, whatever you want to put. Or you could do a meat and cheese tray. Meat and cheese tray goes over very well when you have a big crowd. You know, absolutely it does. Sometimes I'll put out all different types of crackers and then I'll put out like dips, different types of cheese dips or just dips that they can dip their pretzels or their crackers in. People will love anything that you put there. Yeah. He said, yeah, as long as it's season and it tastes good, people will eat whatever. And it's true. It's so true. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so if you buy, um, let, let's just say you buy, good night, Donna, thank you for coming in, cheese ball and crackers, like Sylvia just said, absolutely, absolutely, like, I, 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 I almost feel like I can't even think of all the stuff that I make. I make so much stuff. Aha, mm. uh -huh, you started making your own cranberry sauce, Grace, yes. Oh, yeah, Derek says, I love a good cheese ball and crackers. Yes, and you can buy the cheese balls or you can make them. I have, in my holiday playlist, I have, I show you all how to make cheese balls, and they're so good. And like I said, all you got to do is get you the best crackers that you love. And, like, you can go at that all day, right? So she said, let's do a Bible question thing. I love your prayers, not to sound stupid, but I wasn't raised with it. Sorry if it's inappropriate. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, Tiffany, I make them by their self. Um, I make them by their self. And they are so good. Oh my goodness, they are so good. Oh, I love the flavor. I could just eat a whole pot by myself. I remember that video. You made the cheese ball look so easy. It is so easy. Yeah, you can use the toasty. She said, you love the sausage dip and the totito. I can't even say it. The sausage dip with the tostinos. Uh-huh. How many days, Brandy says, how many days after Thanksgiving are you still eating leftovers, Gina? Well, um, how many days? I'd like to say for a good four days. I'd like to say for a good four days, we eat the leftovers and we love them. And, and then it gets to a point to where I start making things out of the leftovers, you know, like a turkey casserole or, you know. Yeah, there's different things that you can make after it. But then when you're just tired, when you're just tired of it all, then we just say that's enough. Usually we will eat it for about four days. I know I'm holding up all my fingers, but four days. Oh, you just started making your own mayonnaise and it's so good. Okay. Thank you for having a wonderful, thank you for having me. Yes, Heidi. Absolutely. I love having you on here. And then you said, um, you had a wonderful night. Oh, you said, you said, have a wonderful night. Everyone in the chat. Thank you, Heidi. You too. You have a great night tonight. Okay. Yes, that's about right. Like you said, for four days, turkey hash. Absolutely. Uh-huh. I even love leftover turkey. Oh, listen. 
And Derek, there's nothing like a leftover turkey sandwich with mayo on it and eat the turkey cold, right? I love that. Yes, I do. <laughs> I make homemade turkey pot pie. Oh, see, that's a great one. Store-bought pecan pie is delicious. Because sometimes, I have to admit, pecan pie can sometimes be difficult to make, you know. So if you can purchase it and it's delicious, listen here. I'm all for it. And sometimes I make homemade dinner rolls, but sometimes I just feel like purchasing them. There's all kinds of delicious dinner rolls where you can purchase them uh, frozen and you can bake them off or you just purchase like the Hawaiian dinner rolls, whatever you like, the butter savory kind, delicious. Yeah, you ne Grace says we never get tired of macaroni and cheese, absolutely. Now see, when I make, remember Gina, you go live every Thursday, six, okay, remember Gina? Okay, and, sat and Saturday, Saturday, 4 p.m. Let me see, Sonia. Saturday is 4 p.m., but it's okay. So what she's saying is Gina Young goes live Thursdays, 6 p.m., Saturdays, 4 p.m. And like I said, um, by tomorrow, I'll be posting what I decided to make on Saturday. It'll be 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you look at the community post so you'll know what I'm making, okay? And I, uh-oh, I may even do a video uh, letting you guys know what I decided to make on Saturday, okay? Dakota, come plug this up real quick. Hurry up. When you start your holiday cooking, send me the leftovers. <laughs> Dakota! I gotta plug this up or we're gonna lose connection. Do you make fried turkey? I don't make fried turkey. I don't make fried turkey, my goodness. Here, uh, don't don't do that. I don't make fried turkey. I'm terrified to make fried turkey. <laughs> I'm terrified to make fried turkey. I don't know why. I need to get over my fear. <laughs> do you make curry turkey? I don't. Gina, do you say what you're making on Saturday yet? I haven't. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a video letting you all know what I'm making on Saturday, and then I'm gonna post the ingredients, okay? I'm gonna do all this early, so you guys have enough time to go out and get what you need so you can make it with me, okay? Oh no, Sonia, it's okay, no problem. Lottie, yes, I'll see you on Saturday at four, okay? Oh, Grace says my brother-in-law used to do fried turkey, okay. Hey, Sonia, it's okay. You see me. You see how I did with the uh, with the title today. <laughs> I totally didn't know. I didn't know I put fried potatoes in fried potatoes. <laughs> hey, 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 don't feel bad. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to figure out, let's see. I'm thinking of what I want to make Saturday because I'm pretty sure so many of you all would like to know before you get off of here what we're going to be making. Um, let's see. So I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. There is, it's between one or two. One, one or two. How, how do I want to say that? <laughs> it's between one or the other. So I was thinking I wanted to show you all how to make the green bean casserole Saturday. And then I also was thinking that I wanted to show you how to make sweet potato pie. So those are the two that I was thinking of. 
Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'll come up with something. Like I said, from here on out, every single thing is going to be holiday. Okay? Everything is going to be holiday. Who does my hair? I do my hair, but my hairstylist, she will clip my ends and she will um, clip my ends and give me a deep conditioner and give me a steam treatment on my scalp and uh, do a bunch of stuff, all kinds of treatments and stuff on my hair. But um, to get my hair curly, what I do is I use leave-in uh, conditioner made by Design Essentials. And then also I use Design Essentials shampoo I use Design Essentials um, mousse and let my hair air dry a little bit. And then the rest of the way, I use a diffuser to make it uh, curly. Okay, all depending on the weather is if you're going to see a lot of curls or not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then you can see I put gel right here on the edges to make it, you know, look kind of cute like a design. I just swoop it with the gel and the toothbrush. Thank you. Thank you so much, Glamorous Life. <sighs> so, I may, I may come on here tomorrow and I don't even make sweet potato pie or green bean casserole. But we'll see. It's going to be something. Thank you all so much. Um, it's going to be something delicious. But like I said, no worries because here on out, I'm going to be banging out these holiday recipes, okay? And you want to make sure cornbread dressing. Oh, my goodness. Listen, I do have to tell y'all, when I make my dressing for the holidays, uh, when I, you're, uh, thank you, good Glamorous Life. When I make my dressing for the holidays, I use croutons and I use cornbread. I mix the two together, and it's for the best dressing recipe ever. Like, you got this cornbread and then you got the croutons, you mix it all together, and it's like so delicious. So that's what I do for my holidays, and people can't believe the flavor. They're like, yum, this is so good. Ooh, it's good. <laughs> eggnog cake. Ooh, and eggnog ice cream. Man, that sounds good. Oh, you have to try it. The better than bouillon. Absolutely. You said you never tried it. I'm excited for the holiday recipes. Okay. Well, you're going to get to see them. And listen, if you're curious, let me see what Christopher just said. I think I missed the message. I Oh, he says, I need to try this recipe. Okay. I, I feel like you're going to enjoy it. Um, what What is it? It's a what? Oh, okay, okay. Dakota just sold me a picture of an eggnog cake. It looked good. <laughs> Ooh, it looked good. Um, what was I going to say? Because I'm going to get ready to get off of here in a little bit. Well, here in a few minutes. Because I'm, I'm kind of tired. I had, listen, I had to get up early this morning. I had to go to the doctors. And first, we had to get up at 5 this morning for Dakota. Get him up for school. I laid down for a little bit, but then realized the dogs needed to go out to use the bathroom. Then I couldn't lay back down because I had to get ready for the doctors. <laughs> then when I was done, I had to do something else. Then I made a video. We edited that, and then I had to set up for this live, and here we are, and I'm stinking tired. Okay, so um, tomorrow you will hear from me. In the, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a community post telling y'all what I decided I was going to make. And I want y'all to go out and run out and get the ingredients that you're going to need, okay? So you can cook with me. We're going to have fun making all this holiday stuff. And I'm going to, I, I, I got some tricks up my sleeve for this holiday. I, you, you all are going to be able to really wow your family and friends and loved ones with some tricks that I'm going to show y'all for this holiday. I'm going to show you how to make a honey glazed ham that is really going to knock people off of their socks. Okay? Yes, I am. So how many of you are excited for Saturday? If you're excited, let me know. Mm. 
when will I make? That's a great question. What's my estimate? I don't know, Charles. I don't know what my estimate is. I just thank God along the way. How about that? And when it happens, it happens. You know? Catherine, how are you? I didn't get to speak to you today. You are, you are, you are. And me, says Karen, okay. All right, excited for Saturday, okay. Whatever you make, well, it will be delicious. It's going to be fun, and you're going to really enjoy it. And I'll make sure that tomorrow I post everything early. I put out a video telling you what I'm making, and then right following behind it, I'm going to put up the ingredients you're going to need so you can cook with me Saturday, okay? I'm not going to get off of here without giving every, every single one of you get a big old hug. New subscribers, old subscribers, everybody who's in this chat, I'm giving y'all a big hug, okay? Come on in, give me a big hug. I love you guys so much from the bottom of your heart. I'm so grateful to have y'all in my life. And like I said, um, Saturday, we're going live. 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're cooking holiday stuff. Now, I'm only going to be making one holiday dish on Saturday. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, but, but here on out, everything that you're going to see is going to be all holiday stuff, okay? So I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Ron Wilson. Thank you, Sonia. Those are the two moderators. They are doing such a great job, and I appreciate you guys. I love every single one of you, and welcome once again to all the new subscribers. Okay, I will see you tomorrow because I'm posting a video tomorrow. Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow on the community tab. I'm posting all the ingredients, so what you're going to need for Saturday. All right. Thank you, everybody. I see everybody saying I love you so much. I love you, too. All right? And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. I love you guys. Those are, does that sound like a kiss? <laughs> well, I'm giving kisses. I love y'all. Good night.